Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm Charles in charge. Charles and Josh. Wait a minute. Oh, my day. Sidejack, put on your fucking headphones so that I don't hear myself. I don't have headphones. Get some headphones or something. Yeah, I can hear you. It's very right. low. It's very low. Hey. You guys hear my mic clear because I'm using a new one? Yeah, much better. Woo. Yeah, you're good. Hello, chat. Can you hear us? Chat, let's see the P's for perceptible. Is that a word? If you can hear us. I can. Yes, we can hear you. Oh, hello. Uh, I want to thank everybody who subscribed. Um, Monkey Gear. Let's fucking go, it's my birthday. 27, happy birthday. I just turned 28, sadly. Enjoy your 27, it will come and go before you know it. And sooner or later, you'll be a, an old, decrepit, 30-year-old ghoul. Paragon <laughs> Creed, thanks for subscribing. 19 months, good lord, that is very kind of you. Um, Joe Still Life, please refrain from posting ECW emotes. We don't support ECW here. I do. Uh, please reduce music volume, said Jay. Jay Hunter from Old School Wrestling Review, our close personal friend. Sadly, Brennan is, in, Brennan is in control of that, so I can't do anything about that because he is gone. He said he won't come back until the hype train gets to level five. Yeah, I'm not so coming sadly, back until the hype train's at level five. So Brennan can't reduce the audio for the background music so that you can hear us better until in fact, it'll you guys only get louder. Until you guys get the hype train to level five, otherwise he won't come back. Don't forget so, we're unemployed. So shoot us some bits, do some gift subscriptions. Jay Hunter, I don't see a fucking logo next to your name, you cheap Jay bastard. Jay Hunter, why Jay is Hunter? Jay Hunter subscribed? Jay Hunter, you better fork over five quid for a subscription, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Demo thoughts on that? Demo sitting there seeing me. Oh, I'm Demo? just trying to figure out uh, what was that meant to be. Sorry. That, uh, surely that you like understood. Camera? Uh, thank thank you, Slater. Slater. Thank you for the subscriptions. I'm just doing social media real quick. And then... Jay, are you kidding me, dude? You're, you're a fucking YouTube mogul. You don't have the 40 quid for a fucking subscription? I, I heard you guys get free subscriptions. Yeah, you're a celebrity. I'm part of your influencer illuminati give me a goddamn break all right let's post this on insta oh sophia thank you you're enabling him but thank you 
Honestly, the rich get richer, huh? It's sad. After Rainy, thank you for subscribing, or for gifting subscription. I don't hear a thing, and I stopped remembering. The days they turn to hours. Mother used to say. Um, can somebody, I don't know how to huh? use my headphones. Can somebody walk me through this. What do you Lucky mean through you don't know how to use your headphones? How do I attach them to the, how do I sync them to the computer? Singe Findrel, man, thanks for subscribing. You, you just you plug them in. Use the Bluetooth. Or is That's it what... wireless? Where's the... <gasps> Where's the port? How do I plug it in? I never use them with this MacBook. Why isn't it fucking like popping up somewhere? It sounds fine to me as long as there's no echo. We're almost at level four. Thanks to everybody who joined us from the uh, Reddit AMA. I feel disgusting. <laughs> I feel like Shinji after he masturbated over that comatose girl. <laughs> Pathetic. Oh, yeah, my God. We got some great questions. Should we read some uh, highlights? Yeah, read some Please. highlights. All right, I'll read some highlights. Um, I, I looked at a bunch of the questions before you guys did it. Oh, we got a raid! Wow, that means we got to start, but first... Is that is that Johnny? Jonathan? Be yourself, yeah, you know what else. Another take, gotta give him hell. It's running straight through the dark. It's from a heart. It's from a heart. I like Bluey too. Fed check. Fed check. That's, that's, his name was Johnny Gargano in the Indies, yeah. asshole. We can say his name in the Fed. Uh, so was mine. My name was Dijak in the Indies. No, but you sold Yeah, no, your, it was Donovan. It was Donovan. Donovan. It was Donovan, Donovan Dickhead. dickhead. You, you oh, sold your name to the devil. You think they're just using his name through the kindness of their hearts? Yes. <laughs> Johnny oh, would hey. never sell his name to the devil. Like everybody, oh. everybody who's coming in from our close personal friend, Jonathan Garganathan, thank you so much for coming. We got a special stream you're definitely going to want to catch. We're playing a fantasy booking simulator called TEW, where myself, Brennan, Dijak, and Demo are going to book our respective shows, and you, the people, the people, get to decide who had the best show. It's me. I have the best show. It's It's not. And don't vote for Demo again, okay? Don't vote for Demo. You guys make Ridiculous. me sick. Ridiculous. Hey, you're going to want to subscribe. My show is incredible. You guys know it. I put way more effort in than any you of you. You didn't put any guy. You're just a smart mark. Yo, Misawa wrestled Kabashi. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole. On hey, ECW listen. television, bitches. Hey, you guys got one minute until this hype train ends. And if we don't get to level five, Brennan won't come back. We got to get some new subscriptions. I will not come back. I'll never come back. We are unemployed. We need the money. So listen up. You gotta subscribe. Plus, if you subscribe, you get special benefits. You get to join the Discord. What? And friends with benefits. If you join the Discord and go to the Super Mutants Corner, where only subscribers can go, then you I'll can vote. You, in in you can vote you goodnight. on who had the best show tonight, and your votes will directly go towards our fantasy booking score. And if you subscribe, you can potentially come Whoa. on our show. Thanks for the bits. Yes, thank uh, you, thank you. We are better, well, we're gonna get to level four. You guys go 25 seconds. 25 okay. seconds. Shut, oh, we're gonna, let's go, Retro Chef Lando. For, for anyone who's wondering, don't vote for me. I don't want your votes. I don't need your votes. I'm going to <laughs> win. Vote for you anyway. it makes me I'm sorry. going to vote, I'm going to win the computer. Uh, whatever algorithm, because everyone knows that my show is actually Whoa, the best. Psycho Fox with the Ray, thank you. Yeah. But everyone's gonna do the WWE thing where it's like, no, this alternative is better. Oh, I like wow. wrestling. Blah, blah, blah. Wow. We, we like wrestling. We like wrestling. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm looking at the stream right now. There's two demos. I'm seeing double. Oh, good. Oh. Why are there two demos? I Got thought that there should be more. <laughs> the demo, we're trying to win the demo graphics. To win the demo graphics, at, gotta get another demo. I'm looking at triple D's. Demo <laughs> Dijak. Demo. 
What it's the an awful fuck? lot of bold. <laughs> oh, uh, it's because Demo was here on time. No offense, Sorry. Demo. Trying to work oh, out how to this? figure out a new microphone. Wait, can you fix it so that they can't see my fucking desktop wallpaper? No. And also the chat is they can also see the chat. Good. It's chatception. Right. They can always see the chat. It's part of the stream. <laughs> okay. Whatever, fine. Oh, people are seeing me in the in-game editor. That's awkward. Are we winning the demographics? I had to buff a few people because uh Oh, we're getting to level five. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. Brandon's Thank back. The, Yay. The anonymous subs. You're not anonymous in my heart. Renegade. Let's go. The greatest WCW wrestler of all time. He's here. <laughs> Could it be? We did it, guys. We did it, Reddit. We did it, Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you just feel Me? like a disgusting used up whore now? Huh? We've done the I AMA. love being a whore. I've been a whore for eight years. My entire career, I've been a whore. Give, I'm, I'm... give me any of the, uh, the give me the best questions on the AMA. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll do that. Um, uh, my favorite one was, uh, how big is Batista's cock? That's oh, dick. Well, well, well. Do you know? Everyone always asks how big is Batista's dicks, but not how, how is, is Batista's, Batista's dick. dick. <laughs> Which the answer will surprise Bless you. you. Um, Jesus. All right, here's some questions from our Reddit AMA. Um, kind of a twofold question. What was it like for both of you when Paul Heyman was head of creative for Raw? And what can you say about Bruce Prichard's presence as head of creative once he took over Heyman's role? Matt. Did I answer uh, that one or did you answer You did. You one? said you said Heyman was kind of in charge for like a couple weeks. <laughs> the only person who was ever really in charge was VKM. Until he wasn't, which was a week into our push. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time ever. <laughs> we, the most unlucky men in history. <laughs> and then in fairness, thank you for subscribing, inferior sinister. Bad, right? uh, and then my answer was, I talked to Bruce at the WWE corporate party we were sent to. I wanted to get his ear for some creative ideas, but he would just not stop changing the subject to my mortgage. He kept saying he knew a guy who could get me a great deal on refinancing my house. <laughs> I, I gave up and hung out with Vince instead. He was smoking on the fire escape, staring up at the sky. He's so dreamy. He was. Oh, so really Brendan was. gave the real answers and you <laughs> gave the copy pasta. That's not true. That's not true at all. Like, I'm, uh, I'm how happy about, that you know what a copy pasta is. The, the yeah, question. Uh, He's who not has really the, sure. Somebody that, asked, there. who has the worst taste in music in the WWE locker room? That's a fair question. You were right about that. And uh, I responded, I was sitting Thank in Gorilla. Thank you for subscribing with uh, Amazon Prime, MJCA Boost. Most yep. likely, Seamus. Um, what is who Seamus? has the worst taste in music? I was, at first, Seamus? I said most likely. Well, what makes you say that? Did you have an argument about, does he not like Tool? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes Till. What are you talking Jay about? This was like, oh, I prefer Taylor hey, Swift. All away. Uh, <laughs> so this, this question Obviously was... my favorite NXT uh, group after my own, you know? <laughs> what? Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> Uh, so this question was, who has the worst taste in music in the locker room? I said, I was sitting in Gorilla next to Sean and Try, as I always did for <laughs> NXT events. <laughs> Keith Lee and Cross's promo package played. It was set to Frantic by Metallica. I turned to the game and said, oh. really, Hunter? St. Anger? <laughs> he looked back and said, what? It's their best album. I couldn't believe my ears. What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> great, great many things. Where do you so, come this, up with this? Content. <laughs> Go to Reddit and check out all the answers. Try. If you guys Try. are really good to us for this entire stream, we might go back after and answer a few more questions. So yeah, go go to Reddit. Tell them try. Tell them try. <laughs> Tell them try. My lifestyle determines my death style. <laughs> all right, we should get started, eh? I guess we should. Starting All right, with uh, Damo, right? Because Damo well, yeah, needs well, to go to bed. You should go I, to bed! So I have no clue what order it's going to be in. I think it's random, but we'll see. It's a um, random in alphabetical order. I, I, yep. hope, order. I hope Damo goes first. So I wanted to, um, before we start, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is T-E-W. -E and basically what we do 
is Brennan controls WCW, I control TNA, Damo controls ECW, and Dijad <laughs> controls WWE. Yes, subscribers, put in your uh, favorite company's emote in the chat. Show your support for any of our feds. This is a console war. Let uh, me see screen. those WCW snowflakes. We want yeah, all the toxic fans we can possibly have fighting in the chat over who has the best yeah, company. The WCW's Renegade. <laughs> <laughs> Cross the line. And basically what's going to happen is we're all the same size, popularity, we draft our rosters, and we all book a show. In the game, it bases the ratings on, you know, popularity of the wrestlers as well as match quality and how well you book the show. The order of success in terms of in-game ratings determines how many points we get, but... We also get points from you, the people. the people. Subscribers get to vote on what your favorite show was on Discord after the stream. So make sure you subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you join the Discord. Our Jannies will put an invite at the top of the chat. And you will want to go to Super Mutant Chat, where I will post the poll where subscribers can vote on their favorite show. Now, last week was amazing. We all had our first episodes. It was a real uh, slobber week, knocker. It was like five weeks ago. Last week in Game Universe, a lot has happened in the universe of the game. So I'm going to go over some of the news that happened uh, over the week. Fake news. Uh, Fair back uh, So six six Pac, Brennan's wrestling. Oh, yeah, here. I forgot. Thanks uh, for the raid, we'll, Gambit. We'll, we'll be out for 16 days with a dislocated shoulder. He was injured by Violent J of the Insane Clown Posse. Gosh. I Violent J. in miracles. Violent J currently has heat with the locker room for being uh, unsafe. Water, right. fire, air, and dirt. Magnets, how do they work? Rob Van Dam suffered a blown eardrum, but will recover in six days, which means he'll be ready by the next show, Dan. What is he, the Brad. freaking Wolverine? Oh my god, for that. He is my TV champion, and I promised that he would defend on every show. What a, what a testament to medical marijuana. <laughs> uh, <laughs> after the Insane Clown Posse got signed by WCW... Jerry Jarrett, Jeff Jarrett's dad, has stepped up as the CEO and booker of Juggalo Championship Wrestling. <laughs> so that power vacuum has been filmed. Filled, rather. Uh, speaking of JCW, Fat Fuck Barrel Boy appears to be living up to his reputation. As inside sources say, he is very carefully, very carefully forming political alliances within Juggalo Championship Wrestling. He is renowned amongst other workers as a master of company politics. Is Juggalo Championship Wrestling going to like suddenly become the premier promotion? It seems I like think a lot is moving in that direction. A lot is, and all the pieces are moving around Juggalo Championship Wrestling. I know the pieces fit. Uh, Combat Zone Wrestling, CZW, has uh, come to terms with an agreement on a announcing role for Michael Cole. <laughs> oh, sweet. Good for him. Ooh. Mike, who? Michael Cole, our close personal friend? Oh, no, what? My what close company? personal mentor? Oh, CZW. Who's CZW? Combat Zone Wrestling. You don't know the Tournament of Death? Worked for CZW. I'm asking who in this chat. Oh, nobody. CZW. It's it's in the game. There's the other companies still happening. still exists outside. Yeah. Not, just because you're the main character doesn't mean the NPCs aren't part. moving around. Well, because uh, it's... Yeah. Why, why don't you tell the news in the game, then? Like, what's going on in politics? <laughs> they didn't tell me that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So, uh, Randy, uh, Damo, sorry to say, but Randy Orton's dad, Bob Orton, has agreed to a deal with uh, CMLL. Oh, I know that's why you got Randy, right? Wait, wait, uh, what? Are, are we sure that's right? That is correct. Randy Orton's dad, Bob, is now wrestling for CMLL. <laughs> Kobe's got a fucking mask. <laughs> Bob Orton wrestling in 2004? Yeah, he was wrestling I The Undertaker. <laughs> oh shit, oh, he yeah. did actually do stuff on yeah. SmackDown, yeah. He almost gave the Undertaker Hep C. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh the franchise Shane Douglas won the Juggalo Championship Wrestling Championship. Wow. And finally, uh Ohio Valley Wrestling uh has gotten a new CEO and booker thanks to Brennan signing Jim Cornette, and that man is Vince Russo. Whoa, OVW is about to take off to the moon. <laughs> So that's the news, and uh, let's get back. Thanks for to the, the rain, Blitz Fully X. Oh, actually, before we do that, oh no! But first, before we do that, um, there's something I need to ask you guys, which is, do you want to make any backstage rules? I don't know if you can see the screen right here, but you can choose whether or not drugs are allowed. Nobody leaves until the final match is over. A masseuse, catering, no alcohol, stuff like that. Mm. It can affect your backstage rating. 
So, Damo, this is your current backstage rating. The lower the backstage rating, the more likely it is for negative backstage incidents to occur. What's my rating right now? 84%. Get in. So if you want these wonderful Japanese legends could corral the ECW fifth. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And of course, you know, Trad- Molly Holly is a good Traditionally, ECW has to allow drugs. And Finley's just <laughs> randomly like like training everybody in the background. Uh, so Demo, is there any of these? Do you want to provide catering, um, transport, no smoking, a dress code is enforced, a chiropractor, hotels are paid for, a masseuse uh, is provided? We, we will provide... Uh, let me see. What was probably the best idea for ECW, especially? Yeah, sorry, sitting guys. It's cut, it's uh, the way that we have to record TEW because it's a malware a virus program. <laughs> uh, we have to capture Mensor's stream. Or it's screen. very blurry. It's very blurry. I'm sorry. Uh, for some reason, you can't go full screen on this program. So if there's any clarification you guys need, I'll just read it out loud for you. Malware. <laughs> so what are my options, Mensor? I'll, I'll park that really quickly. Okay, do you want to allow drugs? Uh, drugs. Drugs. It is easy. Drugs. drugs. Yeah, drugs. go ahead, yeah. Okay, yeah. drugs are allowed. Good. Do you want yeah. to make it so nobody can leave until the final match is over? No, that's fucking terrible. I hated that rule. <laughs> do you want to provide a masseuse? Yes, that's a great idea. Okay. Do you want to organize hotels? What do you mean? No, fuck that. Uh, are you, do you want to ban alcohol? God, that's stupid. No. Do you want to enforce a dress code? <laughs> Imagine if he allowed drugs but banned alcohol. <laughs> dress code, oh. absolutely not. Do you want to provide a chiropractor? No, they've got a fucking massage. Fuck off. <laughs> Do you want to pay for their hotels? No. Do you want to uh, ban smoking? Shades of real life. Well, that's that's that, that's kind of counterproductive. So yeah, no. true. Do you want to ban outsiders? Kevin Nash and Scott Hall. <laughs> <laughs> you don't it's have actually, them. Actually, yes, I do want to ban outsiders. And outsiders? Yeah. I think that means like workers they can bring, bring in their, their own family. drugs. They're not going to bring in their dealers. <laughs> Fair enough. Do you want to organize <laughs> transport? Uh, yes. No, right. banning uh, outsiders is so CM Punk doesn't show up at your arena. <laughs> <laughs> We're uh, in Chicago, one. bro. Do you want to provide a dirty doctor backstage? Oh my no, God. that's doctor. a brilliant idea. I'll take but him. No. I'll take him. <laughs> <laughs> fucking steroid trials die jack here do you do you want to um enforce a three hour pre-show arrival time uh no do you want to provide catering yes do you want to provide transport no okay what Got is it. the negative of providing oh, sorry a- yes the transport sorry okay. yes the transport. okay i need to make sure i get those Whoa. fuckers to the building now your backstage rating is 91 percent wow Legends. Everybody loved my drug policy. For subscribing with Prime. Anybody can subscribe with Prime for free. So uh, if you got it. All right, Dijak. Your backstage rating is currently 74%. Mm. Is there so anything what, you would what are like the pros and cons of this? Um, if you provide shit like catering, masseuses, transport, it costs more money. But it also ups your backstage rating. So more negative How much events. How do I have? I'm... I'm... WWE. You're I, pretty I rich. Uh, you currently have ten million five hundred thirty thousand dollars. Nice. Okay. So it's up to you. And uh, yeah. if I go to our finance page, it says you're projected to lose um, three hundred seventy thousand dollars a month due to contract. Actually, probably more. Oh, here we go. Financial estimates. Your monthly yeah, wage sure. bill due to contracts is $1,730,000. Wow. Nice. I nice. think that's the highest in the game, thanks to your, uh, <laughs> thanks to yeah, your I'd roster. I'd yeah. be making more, right? Because my ratings are through the roof. Well, your sponsorship income is 640000 a month. You're not getting pure life deals. <laughs> so you're going to, I mean, ticket sales are going to help a lot too. And TV deals are going to help a lot. And pay per view income. But your monthly wage bill is one million seven hundred thirty thousand. Demos is um one million one hundred eighty thousand. Surprise mine's so high. That's probably Brock. Brennan's is one million one hundred nineteen thousand. And mine is a million, a million, a million. One million one hundred thirty-two. So, so Dijak's about seven hundred, six hundred thousand above everybody else. Wow! Just give me everything. <laughs> we'll give you everything. That's you, want, how... you want the drugs? You want the doctor? You want the, you want the drugs? Doctor. The money. <laughs> you want to keep 
Yeah. But he also he also wants the strict three hour policy. You want the three hour? <laughs> the three hour policy? <laughs> no, no, they can leave. <laughs> okay, so you want catering, transport, um, chiropractor, uh, hotels, masseuse. masseuse, dirty doctor, all the good stuff, right? We're gonna see seventeen year old Dijak at the steroid trials. With hey, first... that upped that upped your backstage rating to eighty nine percent. Hell yeah! All right, all right. Now, Brennan, any thoughts on your backstage rules? Um, go down the list. You're already at 97, so... Oh, yeah, we got a good you, culture. You have a harmonious locker room. Um, let's uh, make sure they have catering. Okay. And um, a dirty doctor. <laughs> you, know what never, you know what never do it? You know what never do it, time? <laughs> what? Happiness? Friends. <laughs> Friends? No, remember... The show, remember the show when was I, huge. When I, when, I built my, when I built my stat block, it was, all, it was all reliant on everybody loving me and having, like, a good relationship. That's true. Or, like, That's a, a very cult. good point. That's a very good point. Brash. 100% because I provided catering and steroids. Jesus. <laughs> all right, let's get on to the booking, eh? We're going to get to our show, and the first person to play, hopefully, will be Demo. Make but, it Demo. Uh, I, I don't know how. I honest to God, don't. Did you flip it? Because I remember last week, you kept on messing up the uh, the order of things. Did you fix that? Oh, you mean the order of matches? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I fixed it. Okay. I fixed it. That's not Blue Magic Grind. That's Sika? I believe it is. Of the Wild Samoans? Yes. My close personal friend, Roman Reigns' dad? A lot of people are getting hired right now. It's processing a lot of hirings. Oh, oh, great. Okay, we'll play as Demo first, right? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, shit. Donovan oh, it's Monday dickhead. today. Oh, never mind. Um, Donovan dickhead. Uh, we got to do this one more time, actually. <laughs> Yay. What do you do? Uh, well, I just have to do um, another day, and then we'll do the actual booking. Uh, so next, then we'll do Dijak. Ooh. Oh, by the way, Dijak, Stephanie McMahon sent you an email. Uh, she said, Brian Nobbs is clumsy. I'd cut him loose before someone gets seriously hurt. <laughs> she's a talent, isn't she? What? She's a talent. Yeah, yeah, she's a talent. Why is a talent emailing me about she has, she has She's telling opinion. you the truth about Brian Nobbs, bitch. She has an opinion. Next Why would she... Bit. I'll I'll take tell her I'll take it into consideration. Okay, delete. <laughs> <laughs> it's deleted. Uh, Andrew, who I got hit by a Mitsubishi Lancer today, flew about ten feet. Scary ass experience. Only got road rash and a few bros bruises. Biggest bump of my life. I hope you tucked your chin. <laughs> what? <laughs> this guy was in a car accident. Uh, oh, I got an email. He came to this. Uh, apparently, a different a different company has made a contract offer to Arn Anderson. The Arm fuck? Anderson. Who did it? He's employed by me. Yeah, he's, he wants to leave because you're not paying him enough. You what? Don't have, you don't have a harmonious locker room like me. ECWA. 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 <laughs> Damo, do you want to do you want to sue these guys or what? <laughs> I think they're the Canadian douches. That's ECW um, Atlanta. Negotiate. When does when does your contract expire? Did you fuck uh, up, Monster? Did I fuck up? Let's see. View rival offers. PWG is offering him a deal. <laughs> well, I know this. Uh, I know this. Is <laughs> All right, I'm making him a. Uh... Could you imagine the super kick into the Aloha Arn? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm offering him. I deserve. Arn Anderson says, "Given my popularity, I think I deserve a higher cut of merchandise." Fine, dude. I'm not gonna make any <laughs> merchandise for Arn Anderson, so take that. Is that better? Take one. Right, Whoa, sure. you know what he said? Arn Anderson. Uh, Armed Anderson. Armed and Anderson. Just tell guns right. at your show. You know, it's okay. America. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, first we're starting with WCW. Sorry, Damo. It's not, it's not under my control. You suck. We'll, we'll try to get through it. Um, absent workers. What? Oh, Six-Pac. Well, Six-Pac can be booked for angles, but not matches. Okay, okay? that's fine. Uh, Uh-oh, Brennan backstage incident <gasps> between Kemo Nito and Kurt Angle. <laughs> no! What? We are so good. I need to work again today. Uh -oh. What happened? <laughs> What happened between uh, Kemo Nito uh, and Kurt Angle? Uh, uh, Kemo Nito was brought before the wrestler's court, accused of being an hour late to pick up his assigned travel partner. 
the judge, Kurt Angle, found him guilty and sentenced him to pay for his travel partner's meals for the next three shows. Oh, that's fair. That's just that's yeah. just some locker room <laughs> justice. Sounds familiar, Manny. This <laughs> this incident has had a small. We're positive circling impact. the hotel, Brennan, just waiting for Mansoor to fucking come up. <laughs> We're leaving. We're going to the venue. You have to walk. Goodbye. Uh, Brennan, where would you like to book your show? Um. <laughs> Hmm. It can be anywhere in the world, by the way. Anywhere? No, but then it doesn't it affect things. Um, it affect so everybody from that country has a popularity boost, but everybody not from that country gets Thanks a for the small rain, bastards of the universe gets a small popularity negation. So, like, if Edge has a seventy overness in Mexico, it'll be sixty five, but Eddie will be eighty. Okay, so the Japanese would do better in Japan. Yes, then. they'll receive a big boost in popularity, but the Americans will receive a small penalty. Let's go to Japan! Oh, we're going to Japan! Wow. Go I think so. He's going straight to Japan. Going Japanese, I think I'm turning Japanese. Turning Japanese, I really, I really think so. Think so. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tokyo Dome! Oh, Tokyo? Where's Tokyo? In, in what province is Tokyo? Uh, Tokyo. I'm, sure. Oh, here it is. Okay. Tokyo Dome. You want to go to the Tokyo Dome? You're going to go to the Tokyo Dome. Yeah. Your second ever show. Fill That's it incredible. Up. That is right, incredible. Fill her up. Yep, here right. it is. The Tokyo Dome. Let's go. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. It has a capacity of 55,000 and you're expecting 6,700 fans. Are you sure you want to do this? What, go to the Kurrigan Hall. Does it make anything happen? Does it change anything? Well, to use the building, it costs $100,000. Oh. Jesus Christ. Go to Kurrigan Hall. Just like, yes. There's Budokan Hall. Oh, yeah. Okay. How much there's is Budokan. Budokan. And there's also Kurikin. Uh, where's Kurikin? I don't know if Kurikin's in Tokyo. Kurikin only has a two or three thousand, I think. I don't see Kurikin. Go it to might be in the Budokan. Budokan. Yeah, go to Budokan. You're going to sell out the Budokan, so. Yeah. Right. Time to get the tarps. Time to get the tarps. <laughs> Time to get the tarps. <laughs> Time to get the tarps. <laughs> the Budokan. The big bad Budokan. <laughs> big bad booty daddy. All right. All right. What's your show? Okay. Um, so I kind of prepared it similarly to last week because I don't Hold know. On, how let me check game works. really quick. I want to see if I did this right. Uh, main event last, I want to put right. Uh, bah, 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 bah. where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yep, wait, yeah, book. Okay, got it. All right, you're good. Okay, let me we're starting from first segment to last All or right. darks if you want to do darks. No, I don't care about darks. I don't want okay. the dark. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa. Yeah, you heard it from me oh, first, chat. Pop. I don't care about the darks. Good lord. Canceled. Canceled. Seg one. Is this an angle? Well, yeah, it's Kurt Angle. <laughs> Kurt Angle and uh, in the uh, All American Outlaws, his faction, okay. flanked. Yeah. By Kurt Angle's wife, Linda, catatonic Linda McMahon. Okay, Brendan, do you want to give a, a, a sort of a recap on what happened? Oh, you want to, you want to. Last time on Monday Night Row, uh, yeah. Kurt Angle uh, was very disrespectful to uh, the uh, WCW commissioner, Antonio Inoki. And uh, <laughs> Antonio Inoki shows up to the arena last week with the winged eagle belt from. Uh, WWE, he took it because what the? F I take my belt? Yes, I can because I employ <laughs> Linda McMahon. Linda yeah. McMahon works for me, and she got it in the divorce. But Linda is catatonic. But Kurt Angle married Linda McMahon, and now oh owns God. everything that she owns. So he is now the goat champion. That's right. Which is the WWE championship. That you remember right fondly from your childhood. It's actually the WCW greatest of all time of all titles championship. Yes, the go the go to the go to what the fuck? The what the fuck does your tag team belt stand for? B T T I T W? No, well, what to <laughs> Best best tag team in, in the Oh Batitu. The Batitu. <laughs> right, fair enough, fair enough. So that's the that's the main storyline. That's what would show in the uh the intro video, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh so Instantly, Kurt Angle's music hits. He's flanked by the All American Outlaws. Uh, the um, what are they called? America's Most Wanted is with Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle wears a little cowboy hat, and uh, James Storm 
is wheeling out catatonic Linda McMahon. That's copyrighted. Her name is catatonic Linda McMahon. Oh, I, I'll change that if you want. Change that, please. Yeah, okay. Her gimmick. Is it, is it in quotes or is it like, quote, catatonic? <laughs> the cat, the catatonic Linda McMahon. Catatonic. Or is it Linda Catatonic McMahon? Oh, Linda Catatonic McMahon. All right, I'll do Linda Cat. Uh, I don't know if I spelled this right, but Catatonic McMahon. All right, there you go. So this is your new show. I didn't realize that we were in. Uh, I didn't realize that we were in Japan when I wrote the show. It was kind of a last minute decision to go there. <laughs> okay, but uh, Kurt cuts a promo about how much better America is than Japan, and he mm. welcomes everyone to his show. Monday Night Raw, and as the, the GOAT goons. champion, he can do whatever the hell he wants. Thank you for the subscription, Station Zig Zig. Um, and because he can do whatever he wants, he starts to threaten. He starts to threaten the crowd. He says, I'm going to say it. <laughs> the, crowd, the crowd is like, no, no. How does, how does the crowd know? I mean, it's Japan. It's, it's not Japan. really. The, the crowd at home knows. but it's, it's, <laughs> The Japanese fans are just confused. They're like, oh. <laughs> say what? Kurt Angle threatens to say the N-word to the pleasure <laughs> of his outlaws. <laughs> but he is interrupted by Inoki's music and entrance. Inoki? Inoki? Inoki. Why would Inoki? I thought, you, I thought like a black person would come out and stop him. No, no give it time. Just... Give it time. Just... Okay, all right. Let all me right. cook. Let me cook. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Inoki, Bombaye, Inoki, Inoki, Inoki-san calls Kurt Angle a bald bastard and promises <laughs> to find somebody by the end of the night who will take the belt off of Kurt Angle. Thank you for subscribing, Martin Marl. Uh Kurt says, oh, you're doing this now? Inoki is taken aback by the disrespect. Huh? 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 Oh, huh? Kurt Angle starts cutting off Inoki, closing his hand and shutting it in his face. Inoki walks away and continues shopping. America's Most Shop. Wanted will be competing in the tag team tournament next. We crashed a commercial break. Well, well, seg right. two. Uh, how long was that seg? Uh, six hours. Too long. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? Six minutes? Yeah, six is fun. Uh, all right, next up is what? Uh, it's the match between America's Most Wanted, the All-American Outlaws, and uh, mm -hmm. but I don't want to spoil who because Kurt Angle who? is still in the ring. Oh, Maybe. this is an angle. Okay. All well, right. it's, it's not. A, it, this is the, this is the beginning of the match. Okay. Call me Kurt Angle. Call me, Call me Kurt, Kurt Angle. Angle. Kurt Angle is threatening to say it again when he's interrupted <laughs> by APA. Farouk leads the charge, and Bradshaw oh. storms the ring. Bradshaw's, no, Farouk. Bradshaw's holding him back. No, wait! I want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait! Let, let's see what happens. <laughs> Uh, so right. this, this next segment is uh, Ask Pounders Anonymous versus uh, the Outlaws. Okay, so that's Bradshaw and Ron Simmons. Yeah. <laughs> Not Ron Killer. Ron, Ron Simmons. Uh, versus Chris Harris and James. And this is for the titles? This is, No, this is for the uh, title tournament. Oh, okay. All right. all right. If you remember, last week they were both out of the tournament because they had a six-man tag. Okay, fair enough. Don't worry, all the players in that six-man tag will come into effect soon. Players? Are you uh, just because we're in Japan? You're calling them players? Yes. Okay. Oh my God. Um, so what's what's this match? So during the match, can you have a like what, in a mid angle mid match? You want to run in? You want to yeah, run in? Running. Okay. What's the run in? During the match, the numbers game gets the better of the APA, but okay. Camonita runs out and makes the save, knocking Kurt Angle on his ass. The distraction wow. allows APA to win. Oh shit! Okay. Uh, so then that so means for outside up on uh, uh, Wildcat. Wildcat, Chris Harris, and the worker is Kemonito. All right. And uh, how long is this? Um, give them uh, eight. Eight minute match. Beautiful. All right. Segment and, three. Uh, <laughs> Real quick, let me just uh, add a new team. Ass Pounders Anonymous. Anonymous. There, it's we haven't really gotten into their backstory, but it's implied that both of them are their sex addicts. Their backstory? Yeah, they're sex addicts. Okay. Jesus. Ass 
Pounders Anonymous. Chat, um, are we cooking here at WCW or what? Yeah, WCW chat, Snowflakes in the chat. Snowflakes? Yeah, so our logo looks like it's like a little. Oh yeah, it does look like a little snowflake. <laughs> when when everybody starts using the emote, it looks like it's snowing. It does look like it's snowing with like piss underneath. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go on. <laughs> Uh, segment three, Abyss is backstage talking to L.A. Park again, trying to convince him to enter the tag team oh, tournament hey, against Park. New Jack yeah. and Ron Killings later tonight. Wait, New ja why is New Jack and Ron Killings all of a sudden the team? Why do you think? Oh, yeah, why? Oh, oh, please tell us, Brennan. <laughs> why do you think? Oh, my God. I'm just, I think there's I'm just, nothing in I'm common just appealing, other than just appealing one to the thing. audience, all right? That's terrible. The wrestling audience <laughs> expects this. There's a reason why wow. Mason T-Bar wow. didn't work. There's a reason Brennan. why Maximum Male Models didn't APA work. APA worked. No, they're not together anymore. <laughs> That's the criteria? <laughs> for a team working, they have to be together forever? Yes. Okay. A place for everyone. And why, and a place for everyone me? and everyone in their place. Okay. Can you explain uh, to me why Abyss and LA Park are, are trying to be a tag team? Like, why is Abyss trying to convince LA Park to be as well? Well, Mansoor, if you watch the segment, um, LA Park tells show. Abyss that uh, they have nothing in common and a tag team between them will never work. Abyss tells Park, nothing in common? We're family. We're brothers. Hard cut. Abyss is now dressed as Joseph Park, and he says, <gasps> "It's me. It's time for L.A. Park to join the family business." Holy shit! But you passing the mind. bar comes later tonight. What? We need to advance in the tag team tournament. The law offices of Park and Park hug as the scene fades. The law offices of Park and Park. Yeah. All right. Do you want me to rename Abyss to Joseph Park? Yes. Okay. Hard cut. <laughs> All right, now he's Joseph Park. <laughs> Interesting. All right, save. Can he do the gimmick where he's both? Yeah, he, yeah, I think he will. I think he will. In a way, you can, yeah. And then now you can have you, a new team called. I'm, I'm Park. saying though, can you do it in the game? Um, like you can't have him wrestle himself if that's what you're asking. Why not? No. I mean, you could you could say that you dress up another wrestler as him. I guess. No. It's, what it's if I good. what if I want to have him have like a, a single match with himself against himself? Like, it would be God. an angle. Not it would be an angle, not a match. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so it's Park and Park Law Offices or uh, the Law Offices of Park and Park L O P. That's a that's a mouthful. Law, the law Offices L -O -P. L -O -P. of Park and Park. All right. That there's no room for that, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> Uh, All right. They hug, scene fade. Seg four. A match. Manami Toyota versus Aja Kong again. Oh, of course. You just you do the same shit. And now it's in Japan, so it's going to be fun. <laughs> so out. it's going to be so over. Let's go. It's be a banger. Give them uh, two segs. Uh, tell them to kill the business. Let me see. Jesus. What's her popularity in uh, Japan? Oh, 75. Let's wow. go. Manami Toyota, this could be your main event, honestly. It and then Manami been. Toyota, her popularity is 75 as well. Yeah, this this could be your main if you. So this is a 14, 15 minute? What do you think? Um, yeah, give them 15. All right. And this is for the women's belt or? Yes. The bombshells? Uh, yes, the bombshell title. Who... The current bombshell champion is Aja Kong. Yes. So she just won it last week. Yes. So who wins it now? Um, I don't care. Figure it out. <laughs> wow. I'm just gonna... All right, I'll just leave it. <laughs> I'll just leave the note. The agent, um, Sika, will decide. Sika will decide in the moment. Whoever's the most over. It says, are you sure you want to book a title match and leave the decision on who should win entirely up to the road agent? Yes. <laughs> 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 all right keep going um finish i don't care call it out there uh seg five <laughs> uh we've got a we've got a match between okay. kane versus violet oh. oh wait who uh who hurt somebody shaggy <laughs> um, it was, uh no it was uh it was in fact violent J who hurt uh, violent J hurt six Spock? okay this is yeah. a punishment match <laughs> Okay. So tell so Kane to kick Kane, his ass. 
It's K. I'm sorry. His name is um. Fuck. What's his? oh Sovereign Citizen Kane. Sovereign Citizen Kane. Yeah, we'll get to versus that. We'll versus get to Violent. That. <laughs> and you said it's like a squash. So like what? Four minutes. Uh yeah. Four. Okay. But can you tell? Like, can you tell him to hurt him in real life? Let me t- let me try. Let's see. Let me see if it's an actual note. Um, let's see. You can allow high risk moves. <laughs> um. <laughs> Let's uh, try to get him to hurt him for real. Yeah, I, I mean, there's, there's, there's burial. You can do burial. Um, uh, domination, um, screw job. You can do a screw job. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell uh, Violet J he's up on my monster <laughs> in four minutes. You could have him do a crazy bump. Do you want him to do a yeah, crazy bump? Yeah, make him do a crazy bump. All right. He says, "Sorry, I'm not willing to take a crazy bump when it's only for a TV show." Whoa. Um, give him you want, 100 bucks. You want, to do a, just, <laughs> <laughs> you want him to do a stunt bump? Yeah, stunt bump. It's like landing on a big crash mat. Okay. Um, I'm going to allow high risk moves for this match. <laughs> I, I need to tell the agent to move the uh, the, the mat like mid bump. Okay. And Kane is <laughs> Kane is going to dominate the match. Okay? Yes. All right. Uh, so that's a cane squash. Gold Dust is in the audience again. So make sure Gold Dust is in the audience again. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I can do that. Um, road agent note. I will have a person at ringside. At ringside is Gold Dust. Thank Dustin. you, Marcus Aurelius, for subscribing. So then this mm-hmm. will advance your cane and Gold Dust storyline. Yes. Uh, Gold Dust is in the audience touching himself again. <laughs> okay. Right. Is uh, fed up with the Coomer at ringside and cuts an impassioned promo. Oh, okay. That as a libertarian, he believes that Gold Dust has rights, but his rights end here. Oh. Kane oh. announces his candidacy for kicking Gold Dust ass next week on <laughs> Monday Night Raw. Okay, very nice. Kane <laughs> threatens masturbating man. <laughs> okay. uh, All right, that's done. Six six, a backstage. Uh, the two young up and comers, John Cena and AJ Styles, are playing on their Nokia N gauges backstage. <laughs> okay. John wins at Tomb Raider two for the Nokia N gauge. Uh, Uncle Alan is like, "Oh man, uh, I bet you couldn't do that in the ring, pretty boy." The two look longingly into each other's eyes. <laughs> okay. They shake hands, and the match is made. All right, fair enough. Cena and AJ make match over video game. Nokia Engage. Okay, Nokia. It's a, it's a sponsor spot. Is that the word Angle was gonna say? Engage. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually the theme of the night. All right. Um, you got you got a, a little more than an hour to go. Okay, I, got, I still got show. Seg seven. Uh, the law offices of Park and Park versus Rod Killings and the guy with a confirmed killing. Okay, so Joseph Park and L.A. Park go up against Ron Killings and New Jack, who, by the way, are different dispositions. New Jack is a heel, Ron is a face, That's okay. and there has been no That's explanation. There's been no explanation as to why they are teaming. What okay. explanation do you need? Okay, they both got soul. <laughs> I thought things would be different with a, a Booker of Color, but here we are. <laughs> <B-O-C>. <laughs> uh, what's your notes on this match? Uh, notes on this match is during the match, Ram Kai Chow comes out with a chair. She should be very over in Japan. Yeah, okay. Uh, looking to exact some revenge on Nuge. But uh, okay. Nuge, <laughs> Nuge, Nuge, Jack. Nuge goes to a shopping cart. And oh. beats her ass with a stop sign, bro. <laughs> oh, it's a failed, it's a failed run-in. <laughs> she just gets the shit kicked out. I right, botched interference. He throws um, her into a pit. <laughs> Lost in the ecstasy of battle, New Jack leaves Ron out to dry, allowing Park and Park to pick up the win. Oh, okay. <laughs> so because um. It's a distraction finish in a way, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm going to put uh, distraction. Because he was too distracted murdering a child. 
<laughs> to finish the match. Wouldn't be the first time. Okay. So in a way, it's a tainted finish. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and then that means the winner is Joseph Park on Ron Killings. Is this a permanent tag team, Ron Killings and uh, New Jack? Or no, they're going to start feuding. All right. This. Uh, how long do you want this match to be? Um, eight minutes. Okay. All right. My, my, my instinct is just to give everybody more time than I was ever given, you know? <laughs> Fair enough. Jesus. Uh, seg eight. Cena versus AJ Styles. Wow, what is your main event going to be? Oh, I'm very it's going to be great. It's going to be great. All right. Uh, Cena wins in a competitive match. Oh. Not much to it. Um, give him uh, two stakes. So, 15? Yep. How much time 15? left in the show? I believe you need 50 more minutes. 50? Yeah. Okay. All right, John <laughs> Cena wins. Uh, you need 37 more minutes after that match is booked. Okay. Um, so, next seg. Is Sika agenting every match? No, that last one. Oh shit, it was Sika. <laughs> no, this one will be Stevie Ray. No, we're, we're we're trying to make Sika really happy so that we can get Roman in ten years. <laughs> I like it. You're booking for the future. <laughs> um, okay. Seg nine backstage. Yeah. Inoki uh, asks Kurt to make his way to the ring. He's found an opponent to take that belt from him. Okay. Uh, make that like five minutes. Wait, so Inoki is backstage asking Angle to go out? Yeah, he tells him to go out. Okay. Inoki tells Angle to go out. Commercial break. Okay. Big commercial break. For we the got uh, Nokia engage. Okay. Uh, Kurt Angle and company entrance. Uh-huh. Um, and then Inoki is going to cut an impassioned promo uh, about the history of professional wrestling in Japan. And uh -huh. uh, how meaningful the man that he found is to these people. And he introduces oh. somebody who right, hold on. we haven't used yet. We kept him off TV because we knew that we were going to Japan this week. Okay. Inoki introduces the great Muta. Oh, dun, shit. Dun, 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 dun. Now I see what dun, you were going dun, for. Dun, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Kurt and Muda have a banger for the rest of the show. But Kurt wins oh. because catatonic Linda McMahon uh, accidentally starts rolling down the ramp. And Muda, <laughs> who was a babyface in Japan, uh, doesn't uh. want to see this woman fall to her doom. So he goes to save her. <laughs> it causes a distraction. And Kurt wins with the ankle. Nice. Ball. Very nice. You want him to tap? Uh, I want him to pass out. I like it. I like it. It's a tainted win because of a distraction uh, on Keji Muto by Linda McMahon rolling down the ramp. <laughs> and he is going to pass out. Is that a knockout finish? Yeah, I guess knockout finish. All right. And... Um, Okay, you need seven more minutes to proceed. Should I just make it a 27-minute match? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, shit. What a banger. All right. I mean, that's that I, can be your I show. I think that's my best show yet. This is this is a show. That's for sure. It's, I, it's pretty... I mean, it's... And I think the Japanese fans are really going to love it. Yeah. Chat, how do, you, how do you rate this card? Would you watch this show? Pretend you're Japanese. Pretend you're a Japanese person in the crowd. In how, 2004. As we go... As we go through these matches, I want polite applause and oh, and, so, I, and I want a bunch of Shane Hesto, Shane Hesto, Shane Hesto. If you like this show, uh, get show us the WCW emotes. Let's see how it does in the game. Are you ready to start, Brennan? Start, let's start the show. Okay, here we go. First up, Angle with his promo. Uh, Kurt Angle was held back by the language barrier, not speaking the same language as the fan. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. That's a good point. Uh, so I got a 67. That's fine. Next up, we got Ass Pounders Anonymous versus America's Most Wanted, which got a 65. All not right. bad, not bad. Uh, James Storm seemed off his game, but Chris Harris and James Storm had great chemistry when, when teaming together. Good. They're a not team. Not bad. Not bad. Good. Next up. An ankle, 
that got 36 out of 100. Yes. <laughs> yes. What happened? <laughs> Joseph Park was terrible. With no script to follow, his dialogue was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph Park was held back by the language barrier, not speaking the same language as the fans. L.A. Park was held back by the language barrier, not speaking the same language as the fans. <laughs> Next up, oh, Manami Toyota versus Aja Kong. Let's go. Got a 77 in a bout that had fantastic heat and great wrestling. Who won? Aja Kong Mm -hmm. defeated Manami Toyota by submission. Aja Kong makes defense number one of the WCW Bombshells title. Wow. So Aja won again. Good work, Road Agent. I would have never seen that coming. Next up, we got Sovereign Citizen Kane versus Violent J in an extremely short match. Kane defeated Valen J with a choke slam. Um, the announcing quality lifted the match. <laughs> Who's my so announcers? Uh, Tony Schiavone and Larry Zabisco. That'll do it. Kill it. Next up, we got Sovereign Citizen Kane. Again, full uh, rating because I, they don't speak we're gonna, we're gonna stay in Japan, but we're just not gonna have any promos next week. <laughs> Never gonna leave Japan, are you? Next up, we got John Cena and AJ. Unfortunately, the language barrier. <laughs> It's because they don't use the end gauge in Japan. They don't get it. Uh, next up, in a decent match, the law offices of Park and Park defeated Rod Killings and New Jack. Um, and the segment rating was 57, which is not bad, okay. which is average. Ram Kai Chow couldn't uh, give us up. AJ Styles versus John Cena got a 64. In a good match, John Cena defeated AJ Styles. Uh, next up, we got, oh, an angle featuring Antonio Inoki. Uh, got a 75. Let's Antonio Inoki worked the crowd well, probably because he can speak Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we got another promo, and that got a 76. Maybe you should have just had Inoki speak. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all night. <laughs> and uh, the match got a 75 in an exceptional match. Awesome. Kurt Angle defeated Keji Muto when Keji Muto was knocked out after a distraction from Linda Catatonic McMahon. That ends the show with an overall rating of 74. I like Not it. Bad. I love Not it. I want some more long. of it. Yeah. Uh, next up is me. Sorry, Dave. I feel like you're going to be last. <laughs> uh, you could, you could, if I fall asleep on camera, it's your own fault. I'm sorry. I, it's not up to me. It's I don't know why. It's completely random. Send him the book. Uh, okay. So, uh, chat, how do you feel about... Brennan's show, WCW. Can we get some... Uh... Can we get some end gauges in the chat, please? If yeah, you everybody it? type N in the chat for end gauge. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, so... Uh, is only going? in Ireland in spirit right now. He's not in Ireland. He's got some no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm back this time. It's just I've only been back for a couple of days, and I keep Brennan, falling asleep. Will oh, yeah. your show hit one milli? Um, did no. anybody hit a milli last week? Uh, no. Dijak came close. No. Okay. <laughs> so just to recap, Mr. TNA. Um, oh, actually, I can adjust that uh, picture. I made a Mr. TNA sash, as you can see here. There he is. Champion, Ric Flair. The biggest the TNA... douche in the universe. <laughs> we have the TNA buddy system titles, which is currently held <laughs> by... Uh, the Fallen Angle, Mr. Daniels, and Helix DNA Skipper. I'm actually going to sue. Team. Can I sue you? For what? Um, I own the rights to Angles and Wrestling. You piece of shit. Yes, you can sue me. Okay, I'm going to sue you. We have the Knockouts and then the X, formerly known as Twitter Division Championship. <laughs> uh, so let's book my show. Um, Tri-State area. Um... Actually, just because I'm a petty son of a bitch, I'm going to do this. Thank you for the raid, Moonsault Collective. Because um, I was so upset that Demo won last week. That you're going to change the game? I won. I'm going to Philadelphia, yeah. I'm booking this in the you fucking the East. I'm, bu- I'm booking it in the ECW arena. You piece of shit. Don't get hot. But first, I have to figure out what it used to be called because I can't find it in the game. Just type in Bingo Hope. <laughs> That's very. Was it in New York or was it in? Was it actually do MSG? Hmm. Twenty three hundred. Originally known as Viking Hall. Chat Smarks. Oh Hammerstein! Duh! What the fuck? The Hammerstein. That's not the, it's... the Hammerstein Ballroom. Hammerstein. That's not the ECW Arena. It's not. No. 
Isn't oh. Hammerstein in New York? Oh, the old school ECW arena was in Philadelphia, bro. Still, yeah. still there. What was it called? ECW Arena called? in uh, 2300 Arena. I thought I said 2300. It's not on here. Damn it. Well, I'll go next time. Fuck it was you originally know. known as Viking Hall. It was in Philadelphia. Philly counts as Tri-State in this uh, game for some reason. But uh, instead, I will do... What do I need? 7,000? Let's do uh, this. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I want to sell out. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I want it to look full. I don't want tarps. Bring out the tarps. The Trump Taj Mahal Casino. Yeah. <laughs> Done. Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Can I have Trump on the show? No, yeah. that wouldn't be fair. No. I ha we have to do it for the, the build-up. That's a celebrity. Yeah, that's a celebrity guest. We've discussed celebrity guests. We've discussed celebrity guests. That's true. All right, I'll do the uh, the Herb Abrams Arena in Lake Placid. Lake Flaccid. Lake Flaccid. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, so here's TNA. Uh, we start off with a sweet uh, video package that goes over everything on the show, and then Fortune Four, we're coming to do some things. We're coming to do some things. Some things. Here comes Fortune Four. There's five comes, of us. With Fortune Four. Here comes uh, Ric Flair and Dixie Carter, oh, the yeah. it couple. The it couple. The it couple of TNA. He comes out with his Mr. TNA sash. They walk out to the ring and uh, to a chorus of boos. They're extremely hated. You don't get to decide what the crowd does. I do. I dictate it. I, I, this is my creation. <laughs> that's, that's you piping in the boos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boo. Whereas my creation, nobody were piping in the boos in a, in a cool way. <laughs> right. Ooh. They come out, uh, Ric Flair announces that this counts to his world title score, so now he's, what, a fucking 15, 16, 17-time world champion? Uh -huh. And officially sure. the most decorated world champion of all time in professional wrestling. And, and he announces Go that back, this will be a momentous, historic night because in the main event of TNA Impact, Ric Flair and Dixie Carter will have a live, live. sex celebration. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I was tuning in for this one. Everybody wants to see oh, that. Flair and Dixie. I love that this is your main event. I love it so much. I love it so hard. Live sex celebration. I forgot I actually like TNA in this universe. <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, chat, and chat is going crazy. Dear God, no. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh, and also he talks shit about HBK. It's Mike and Rides again. <laughs> uh, what did I rename Sean to? The, uh... Oh. He's a uh, Christian, right? Oh, wait, never mind. He's Michael Hickenbottom because we're not in WWE. I keep forgetting. All right. So that's the first angle. Is Rick uh, getting big, Chad? Look at all these TNA simps in the chat. They're going crazy. Is Rick getting pegged? Would be based. Uh, next up, we got uh, an angle. It's don't say, don't say a, angle. I'm sorry. We've got a uh, segment. <laughs> Uh, actually, let's do a match. Oh. Uh, what are you calling do, it on the fly? Let's do... Yeah, I, I have had no time to actually... Shit. I'm so focused on organizing this shit. And we were I, so I, busy I, with the Reddit AMA. I know. Actually, you, you know what? didn't answer like 600 of the questions. It's, well, we only have so much time. So next up, we're going to get uh, Dojin Thunder Liger. Uh -huh. It's going to be the debut of the Sigma Male Monty Brown. Oh, yeah. Sigma Male would always dominate anime. <laughs> uh, actually, I want him to cut a promo first. I'm going to have the Sigma Male Monty Brown come out and cut a promo. And say, anime sucks! After Dojin Thunder Liger comes out. And he's going to say that he is currently uh, doing no fap. <laughs> he's currently Dojin purifying Thunder his soul. Dojin Thunder Liger comes out. And he's <laughs> Dojin Thunder Liger comes out passing out Dojin to the crowd. He's giving kids metamorphosis. <laughs> he's, giving, he's throwing out all his favorite Dojin, which Dijak, in case you don't know, is Japanese hentai. Uh -oh. and he's otherwise having a great time. Sigma Bell comes out and says he's doing no fap. He's building his testosterone. And because of that, he's going to punish Dojin Thunder Liger tonight. 
And Theodore, Teddy Long is there too, saying, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Teddy Long is also there. They're both For talking. Some reason. I think I'm going to script Monty. I'm going to give him a script. Uh, we learned uh, this lesson from uh, Edge last week. The Cope. <laughs> yeah, definitely give people a script if you think they need yep. it. Yeah. Raven was fantastic about a script, but the Cope could not the handle Cope. it. <laughs> Cope couldn't. Next up, we're doing a short match with the Sigma Male versus the Dojo Cope. Thunder Liger. Uh, and Sigma Male Monty Brown is going to squash this motherfucker. <laughs> <Just to be laughs> In those words. It. And then he grabs all of Dojin Thunder Liger's Dojin and pounces them into the crowd. So here's Domination, Sigma Male. I might have to give Dojin a call. <laughs> you feel he's being misused? Maybe it's time for you to come home. <laughs> uh, we got an angle. Rabbit's decided to do it. It your tour of Japan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got an angle after the match, and it's Dojin. He's going backstage, uh, back into the locker room, but unfortunately, he goes into his locker room and opened up. He says, uh, luckily for me, I hid some more Dojin in here. He opens up his bag, <laughs> pulls out the book, but all of his Dojin have been replaced by copies of the Holy Quran. <laughs> Muslim oh mage walks by, oh snickering God. to himself, saying, <laughs> and Dojin is incensed. No, it, right. he lost his incest manga. Oh, that's right. He lost his incest manga. Muslim, and this sets up a match for next week, of course. Muslim mage replaces Dojin's with Quran. Quran. <laughs> All right, next up, we're going to do a match. Uh, it's going to be... Uh, what the fuck are my storylines? Oh, yeah, Trish Stratus versus Amy Dumas. Hold on, how are you going to get mad at me for putting two black guys together when you've got a heel Muslim on your roster? I oh. literally... I told you I explained explicitly what my plan was for Muslim Mage. We live in a post-9-11 society <laughs> where uh, a Muslim comes out to heat, but I was going to convert him. Convert no, he him already converted him. I was going That's to make the problem. That's what turned him down heel. the line. I was going to teach the American people that Muslims can be good guys. But then when I put his gimmick in the game, the game said, not suitable to be used by a baby face. Yeah, well, what did the game say about my black-on-black -black tag team? Did they say that they didn't have any chemistry or did their okay. souls combine? Unbelievable. Anyway, this is going to be for the uh, Knockouts Championship. And it is Trish Stratus versus Amy Dumas. Amy Dumas. They're going to have a 12-minute banger that is going to end in a no contest. Boo. Exciting. Due to an outside interference. From who? By none other than Awesome Kong. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 She was pissed. She's fucking pissed that she wasn't in the match for the title. So she beats the shit out of both of them. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty sick. No contest, dude. Yes, Jay. No, this, he's uh, not in Japan. All right. This is a double uh, stoppage finish. Or what is it? What the fuck is it? It's thrown out. Sports entertainment finish. Where's that? There it is. Classic. And then I'm going to have Awesome Kong just fucking beat the shit out of them. Nice. Beats the shit out of them. It's going to be four minutes of Awesome Kong rated on Menace beating up Trish and Lita. I mean, Amy, sorry, don't sue me, Dijak. <laughs> and that is a minor success or minor defeat. Minor defeat. Minor success. Treat the feet. And I'm going to add Awesome Kong to this uh, feud. Now yeah, it's but... a... a triangle now it's a triangle yes you got about 10 minutes to get to me and damo before we both fall asleep at the same I'm time trying yeah see my <laughs> show didn't put him to sleep all right next up yeah. we have, stuck. next up we have We're an angle cold. uh it's a press conference um to, uh, who's my interviewer uh who should be my interviewer um who the fuck is thorny oh it's rosie with hurricane <laughs> uh what culture regal is interviewing uh, CM Punk. He's having a press conference. 
to talk about what happened last week when he left his tag team partner, uh, Colt Cabana. Was it something uh, even funny? Yeah, he says that Colt Cabana shares a bank account with his mom. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he will never forgive him. The best friends forever are over. The tag team is split. Oh, no, I did not see that coming. They were not, in fact, best friends forever. <laughs> Someone <laughs> lied. All right, is Ace Steel in the company? No, not yet. Not yet. Soon. Soon. Uh, what are my other fucking angles? You need somebody to bite somebody's arm. Ace Steel's oh, your yeah. man. The Undertaler is here. Undertaler. <laughs> uh, what the fuck does the Undertaler do tonight? <laughs> Surely the Undertaler has to do something. Oh, right. Hey, I know. Measure you know. somebody. Uh, I'm gonna have I'm gonna start a storyline between the Undertaler and Chris Clive Barker's Jericho. <laughs> <laughs> There's that. Okay, you're only writing for yourself. And uh, it's gonna be an angle backstage right. where Chris Clive Bar Barker's Jericho is on his PC playing Doom Three, and the Undertaler mm. comes up to him and says. That game is dog shit. <laughs> you should be play playing Undertale. a real game like Undertale <laughs> that doesn't come out for another 10 years. And Jericho says, that game's for casuals. It sucks. And they both just start beating the shit out of each other. Wow. It's nice. almost as good as The Edge versus Booker T feud over <laughs> fucking Sean <Shabu. laughs> <laughs> They're arguing about video games. I'm stealing Brendan's idea from his show. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Already stealing from each other. <laughs> it spills out to the ring and they have a match. Dijax told me to go to fall asleep here, by the way. I'm almost done. Not right, enough. Clive Barker's Jericho and The Undertaler have a 15-minute match that ends with The Undertaler winning due to uh, winning. cheating. He uh, exposes the fucking turnbuckle or some, some shit. I don't is know. That, figure is, it that out. A, is that an Undertale reference? <laughs> figure it out, Terry. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Taylor, get it sorted. Rick! Yeah. I mean, Freck, you're a heel. Freck. <laughs> All right, what's next? <laughs> oh, jeez, I need 50 more minutes. Good Lord. Oh, fuck. My uh, show did not have a 35 rating. <laughs> the angle got a 35 rating. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. You... What are you going to do? Right, well, actually, that should probably be the main event. I don't really think that there's any. Oh, I know. Uh, no, I, I actually think I have to do that next week. Hmm. Just, uh, what's the opposite of an overrun? <laughs> an underwalk? An underwalk. Oh, all right, all right. So, uh, a new tag team debuts. Oh, yeah? Ooh. And, uh, they Man, come out and cut a promo. Uh, it is the tag team of La Resistance, Rene Dupree and Sylv Sylvain Grenier, but they come out and proclaim their love for America. They become oh. Los Patriots! Wow. <laughs> Are they Cajun? Wow. Their finisher, Bonsoir, uh, which means hello. <laughs> I think that means now, goodbye. Is it not called the oh, Heidi Duty? It means goodbye. So their new finish is called goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> They're totally going to get over. And I'm changing their name. Uh, instead of Rene Dupree, his new name is um, Ryan. Ron, Ron uh, uh, Duggan. No, that's good. <laughs> Oh, and, and, uh, <laughs> ah, the French! The Von Grenier's new name is uh, Sly. 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 <laughs> Sly and Green. the Family Stone. Sly Green. <laughs> Sly Green. <laughs> I'm all in. I'm all in in this. You like it? Like they're, it. And they're right. obviously from Florida, aren't they? Rod and Sly. Yeah. Definitely from <laughs> fucking. From the Florida Tampa. Georgia line. Yeah, yeah, I there are a couple of bad asses. I'm changing their gimmicks. What's his new name? Ryan? What the fuck do we call him? Oh, Ron Duggan. <laughs> Ron Duggan. Gimmick change. Patriot. Ryan Duper. All right. Duper. They come out and proclaim their love for America. Ron Duggan and Sla. Sla. I just call them the Patriots. The Patriots. Where the fuck? Where's Sly? Oh, Patriots. Did I not press save? From New England. The Florida man. Where's Sly? Stallone. 
Am no, I insane? It's, it's, it's SYL, Silver. He's not showing up. Oh shit, did you I forget to out of your roster? Is he not? Did I delete him? Does he not exist? I think he's gone. It says right here, Sly Green, Sylvain Garnier. Oh, he has a broken neck! A broken freaking <laughs> neck! <laughs> what? Why does he have a broken neck? You can't change it, you already booked it. What the fuck? You no, already booked it. He wasn't in a match, did he have a fucking car accident? <laughs> what? <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, I, I, he needs a replacement. An assassin? <laughs> oh, so who have you got left in your roster? Who else is French? Him? Terry, put who Terry in. Like uh, me. Put the Red uh, Rooster in. Uh, Sabu. Sabu's new name is, uh, uh, is Sam. 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 <laughs> uh, his new name is Sam. And his new gimmick is, uh, right now it's extremist. <laughs> now it's extreme extremist. American. Extreme extremely patriotic. Really, really into America. God damn it. That really... Okay, that hurts it. Uh, he's offbeat and unstable. <laughs> extremely patriotic. Fuck. This isn't good. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait! That's genius, Red Star. Uncle Sam. Not... Yes, Uncle, Uncle Sam. And I'm going to dress him up in Uncle Sam attire. Perfect. This is just Thank what you. they did with Kenzo Suzuki in 2006. Okay. Don't expose the business. All right, I'm deleting this team. I guess it. Well, I'll I'll add a team. The Patriots. Two. And it's uh, what's his name? Ry, uh, Ron Duggan and Uncle Sam. <laughs> That's a team. Right. Les Patriots. All right, and All right. I guess they come out, <laughs> and they Jesus talk about Christ. how much they love America. America. God, this promo is gonna suck my. Thank ass. you for subscribing, <laughs> Trigonosis Twenty Three. This promo is gonna suck my ass. <laughs> Just don't script it. Let them speak from the heart. <laughs> oh, wow. I love America. Don't just talk about growing up in Florida. <laughs> How much they, they and how they serve their countries. Sabu's from Michigan. <laughs> All right, so Uncle Sam and Ron Duggan have a match against uh, the supervillains, uh, Thorny and uh, Wildfire. Who? Uh, <laughs> it's Hurricane and Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll have uh, Uncle Sam be the winner on uh, Thorny. That's going to get a low-ass rating, but I, I need filler. <laughs> Fuck. All right, who else do I need to get on my show? Super. Uh, Sly? Sly! <laughs> I'll have Sly manage them. That's okay, right? No, no he's got he, a broken he, neck. He shouldn't well, be anywhere he, near a ring. Whatever. He can, oh, yeah, I guess he can't manage his broken neck. Is he going to freaking die? What a waste of a draft well, pick. Maybe, maybe they'll take a picture of Sly with them. Yeah. Jeez, I have Ken Shamrock and Mick Foley and I haven't done anything with them. <laughs> uh, you really forced in the, uh, the La Petrion. <laughs> oh, wait, I have an idea. I'm going to have Cole Cabana. He's completely despondent. He's depressed. His best friend betrayed him and called him a broke-ass bitch on national TV. That's true. And he doesn't know what to do. He's completely despondent. What's he going to do? But, who comes up to him? None other than Ken Shamrock. Says, you're not just going to beat CM Punk. You're going to beat him burn in the bone. octagon. Whoa, a Lion's Den match? Ken Shamrock comes up and tells Cole Cabana he's going to train him in the art of MMA. And he's uh, going to change his name to Colt Cabama. Colt Cabama. -ma -ma. Ma -ma. <laughs> Shamrock vows. <laughs> To train Colt Cabana in MMA. Wow, that's exciting. At right, 32 more minutes. All right. Um, All right, get to the sex celebration. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a 20 minute live sex celebration. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you can go all night. The With blue pal. Woo! Woo! And Dixie Carter. What's the payoff? What's there the is none. 
<laughs> the finish is Flair finishes. <laughs> Where? <laughs> end scene. Uh, oh, and then towards really the really avant garde for TNA to end with a twenty minute sex scene with no payoff. <laughs> TOT's just standing there like this. <laughs> Watching. Obviously, obviously, they're mic'd up, right? Yeah. And at the end of the sex celebration, Dixie's about to finish. <laughs> and she goes, <laughs> ah! She goes, ah! 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 Sean! <gasps> oh! 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 stops at his tracks. What are you going to say? What are you going to say? <laughs> He's fucking incensed. Oh. When all of a sudden... All of a sudden, down comes Sean, zip lining. <laughs> he fucking lands on Rick and just starts beating the shit out of him. Pick it on him! I sent you. And it gives the crowd chills going up and down their spine. Sexy boy. I thought he was born again. Sexy boy. They can have sex. Not with a, a stranger. Well. <laughs> is he married in this universe? Yeah. <laughs> well, well. Oops. Double turn. You can't double turn after the <laughs> the turn. most heat filled segment of all time. <laughs> all right. I'm Are we supposed to sympathize with Ric Flair after having sex for twenty minutes? <laughs> <laughs> None of you can sympathize with that. Ooh. All right. I need to throw in a match, so uh, I guess I'll do... After the sex celebration? <laughs> no, I'm going to do it before. This show sucks. Oh, please, please. <laughs> this, show, this is a great <laughs> show. All of that. Uh, the cock no, block kid, Michael Hickenbottom. <laughs> what, did I, what did he say? The cock block the kid. Cock block kid. Right, I'm changing his name right now. <laughs> the cock block The cock block kid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cock block kid. The cock block kid. So now he's TCK. <laughs> TCK. <laughs> I call TCK. All right. And then what's this? What's this match I'm gonna do? Uh, Abstinence. I need a filler match um, that'll be decent. How about um, chat? Who do you guys like? Who's somebody? WWE. I mean, Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe's somebody. Joey Samoa. Uh, Joey Samoa. Joey like Samoa. Maybe a women's match. Inter yeah, they got no women's rep. What do you hate women? Yes, I do. I have a fucking title women's match. No, I don't Stratus remember it. Amy Dumas. I don't remember it. I don't have Chris Harris. Yeah. Joe, what can Joe do? Uh, a live sex celebration. <laughs> a live sex celebration. By himself. <laughs> no, that's Doge and Thunder. <laughs> uh, Mick is doing Rhino. I'll have, uh, is Rhino a baby face? All right, I'll, have, I'll throw in uh, fucking Samoa Joe versus Rhino. No story. <laughs> Just a cold match. <laughs> Just a cold ass match. The winner will be Samoa Joe. All right. You done? Almost. Oh, my Fuck. gosh. All right. I'm currently at 51%, so I'll be penalized. All right. I'll make, I'll make Jericho and Taker longer. The size doesn't matter. And then I'll make... Ooh, who else is a decent match? Samoa Joe and Rhino. I'll make that longer. Uh, uh, I have to. I have to cut time for the live sex celebration. Ooh. <laughs> it's now only going to be fifteen. What we're minutes. all here for. Ooh. Yeah, that's the only thing I cared about. <laughs> uh, okay, the show is between blah blah. Your fans are expecting a show to something. But not, all right, I think this is my show. All right, do it. All right, uh, here we go. Do it. Well, starting off with Ric Flair and Dixie announcing their live sex celebration, which got a, which got a sixty nine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable. 
Classic. All right, next up, this is uh, 56 for the Sigma Male Monty Brown promo on Dojin Thunder Liger. The match got a 55. <laughs> Chad is uh, praying for an injury in the sex celebration. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> uh, next up, that, uh, so that match got a 55. Uh, the angle with Dojin and Muslim Mage got a 52. Uh, Trish mm-hmm. Stratus and Amy Dumas got a 56. Um, the angle got a 54 with, with Oscar oh. Khan kicking their ass. Wow. Uh, the angle with uh, <laughs> where CM Punk held, holds a press conference hosted by What Culture Regal got a 63. Not bad, not bad. Oh, the angle featuring Chris Clive Barker's Jericho and The Undertaler got an 86. Rick, that's what the fans want to see. <laughs> that helps, I guess. They're debating about whether Undertale is a casual game. <laughs> Did a huge number. People are really into games. Uh, next up, uh, what's this? Oh, change gimmick. Oh, Ron Duggan's new Patriot gimmick is now rated as poor. <laughs> 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 Uncle Sam's new extreme Patriot gimmick is rated as great. Yeah. Well, we know what the genetic uh, is. Uh, wow, surprisingly, in a decent match, uh, the Patriots 2 defeated Hurricane and Rousey. 63, not bad. Next up, Samoa Joe versus Rhino gets a 62. Uh, Cole Cabana and Ken Shamrock had a shitty segment and only got a 49. <laughs> <laughs> Where Ken Shamrock about to train. Uh, next up, oh, Chris Clyde Barker's Jericho was the Undertaker in an exceptional match. The Undertaker defeated Chris Clyde Barker's Jericho using underhanded tactics. It got an 83. <laughs> and finally, the live sex celebration, Terry Taylor. Chris Clyde Barker's Jericho debuted a new power spot that showcased his ability to sell well. Rick. Well, that's great, Terry. But what does that even mean? The live sex celebration featuring Ric Flair and Dixie Carter got an 83. Ric Flair did a masterful job of improvising interaction. <laughs> 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 and finally, Michael Cockblock Hickenbottom uh, landing on him got a 72. And the final rating of the show is 80. Wow. Oh. Consider Next all up, the 50s and 60s. That's fucking outrageous. Yeah. Next up is Dam. Well, you guys got to remember... The only segments that really matter is the main event and the highest rated angle. So I had the Taker and uh, fucking uh, Jericho match, and that carried my whole show. All right, Demo, where do you want to book your show? We are going to Asbury Park, New Jersey, please. Oh, Bam Bam Bigelow. Do you know the name of the venue? I think it's called the Asbury Park Convention Hall, I think. Okay. Here it is, Asbury Park Convention Hall. Well, you're going to sell what, that what out. Is it uh, TNA small? Chad's in the chat. Can I get some TNA emotes for my excellent show? Uh, what is what is the capacity of the Asbury Hall there? Is that, is that too small or is it okay? It's um, 3,600. You're going to sell it out, but you could get more fans in the building if you wanted. Uh, is there anywhere bigger? Or oh, they're cheating. They're cheering for ECW. The fuck? E-C-Dub. No, E-C-Dub. don't cheer for ECW. E-C-Dub. Everybody gets it. Uh, here, let me filter it for you. Trip like I do. Trip like I do. Uh, do you want to do... Thank you for subscribing, Probable Cause 503. If you have Amazon Prime, mm-hmm. then you too can have Probable Cause to subscribe for free. Um, yeah. Here, the New Jersey Lewis Brown Athletic Center has a capacity of 8,000. Let's do it. Do all it. Right. Whoa. Wow. Um, all right, what's your show? Okay, so let's get a couple of pre-show matches underway. Oh, my it's, God. It's uh, Shelton Benjamin with his good buddy, Charlie Haas, versus American Dragon. Is that a singles or a tag? Maverick a Mark Daniels, thank you for subscribing. With Prime, you listened to my call and you answered. 15 minutes, <laughs> Shelton up, and just a, a little showcase match. Okay. What's next? Let me know when you're good. Chat, yeah. you don't get to listen to what the pre-show is because you're not, you didn't pay to yeah, be this there. this is a dark match. Everybody, everybody sh- shut up. Everybody close your everybody. eyes. Don't That's worry about the pre-show. I'm just trying to get my guys some experience here. That's fair. Second pre-show match. You ready? Yeah. Uh, Chavito versus Paul London with Brian Kendrick. 
Okay. Ten minutes. Chavo over. Uh, another showcase match. Nothing too exciting. Oh, whoops. I did. Charlie Haas, not Chavo Guerrero. Chavito. Chavo up. Okay. Okay. Main show. Seg one. We open the show with Paul Heyman in ring. Wow. Mm -hmm. Hot start. He's talking about tonight's second round match. I'm oh, sorry, second match in the first round for the world title tournament. It is Major Bash versus the legend, Dusty Rhodes. Wow. wow. Really? Wow. The youth movement. Major Bash <laughs> is about to prove that he is the greatest giant, the mightiest monster, the fiercest fighter to ever step in the ECW ring. And a great American, this, too, right? This cues the entrance for Major Bash, all clad out in camouflage, atop a motherfucking tank. How does anybody see charge? Him? He's going to charge ringside. Menacingly, he's going to get in the ring and stand to attention behind Paul Heyman. Heyman will conclude with, tonight, Major Bash will force his way into the semifinals. He has his eyes on the ECW World Championship. He has his eyes on Brock Lesnar. He has his eyes on Otter. Take my nuts. And explain to the people at home who the fuck Major Bash is, Damo. <laughs> Anybody who wasn't here last week, Major Bash... <laughs> is the seven-foot monster, formerly known as Paul White, who has decided, no, he has been drafted. Into the <laughs> Just like all of you. Just like everybody will be in, in the next couple of years. Uncle Sam obviously. is just a major bash wannabe. Shut the fuck up, Fawful. That's yeah, happening. no, it's a good point. Maybe major bash wing first. I didn't know his own patriotic gimmicks. This is bullshit. I didn't know TNA stood for totally non-stop stealing. You fucking piece well of shit. Well done. I'll <laughs> be 10 minutes in total, Monster. Let's get six minutes with just Heyman by himself. And then four minutes oh, for yeah. Big Show on Menace, please. Yeah, you're We'll have Heyman me. on promo ability. You learned from last time, eh? Yeah, because I bombed the last time. and I was so right, devastated. So a six-minute Heyman promo. About Major Bash. I'll just have them off screen. And Brock. And Dusty, and they're off screen, and uh, not scripted, right? Uh, I will go with Paul. Unscripted. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. He's gonna run over. He's gonna cost you a bunch of time. <laughs> and then Major Bash comes out, rated on menace. Yeah, four minutes. And he yeah. said he doesn't have to say anything. He's just starting there, being menacing on a fucking dike. All right. There's your 10 minute uh, opener. Fantastic. Seg two. Kenta Kabashi oh, versus boy. Masato Tanaka. Wow. That's what everybody wants. That's what we're going to give it to. What does everybody want? Smart everybody Bay. Wants Smart Bay. Utter destruction in ring. So 12 minutes. We're going to go with Kabashi over. Clean. However, post match. Finley attacks Kabashi. Again? Wow. He goes as far as attempting to break Kabashi's chopping hand. Wow. The medics are all over the scene. The medics, everybody's there. They have Kabashi on oxygen. Oh, my God. On oxygen? Has he broken the hand? hand? Has he broken Kabashi's hand? He is, oh, my God. Continues their feud. Holy shit. Holy shit. Funley. Funley. Like right. our uh, our actor last night, yeah, Fondly. Shades of the uh, escape room. Oh yeah, we did an escape room chat, and the which actor... we nailed, by the way, just so we're clear. Oh, got out. That is by time. far our best. Record time, oh. and we get out, or we go in, and the character in the fucking thing, her, she's like, "All right, guys, hi, I'm your guide. My name's Finley," and we all just pop. And in. I love oh, to oh, fight. Do you love to fight? And she's like, "Uh huh." <laughs> <laughs> she tries to continue her dialogue. <laughs> no, she had to give us time to pop for Finley. <laughs> She's a worker. We then had to explain to the to her the joke afterwards that she didn't get it. It, no, was, it, was, it, was, it was nice. Not. Sad. Are we on to seg three? Yep. Seg three. Rey Mysterio versus Juventud Guerrero. Wow. A true Twelve minutes. classic. 12 minutes, Rey over. But post-match, Rey Mysterio goes direct to the camera. No microphone. Oh. He tells RVD he has not forgotten what happened last week. What happened and last week? he will week? be watching RVD tonight. I did. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> What's that? You tell me. I forgot. I... 
RVD cheated to win the TV title last week. Keep up, bitch. Oh, oh yeah. sorry. Oh, yeah, that was the big uh, the, the ladder match. Yes, sir. Okay. So, you ready for Seg 4? Yes. Seg 4, got a backstage promo. Dusty Rhodes and Roddy Piper, the ECW oh, wow. general manager. That's going to do a big number. Dusty is hyping his upcoming match tonight with Major Bash, but he has decided that this is his last stand. If he loses tonight, he will be taking a step back as an in-ring competitor. Oh, He's shit. laying it all on the line, and he implores Piper to make tonight hardcore rules. I oh, implore no! you. So it's going to be a Let's... hardcore main event match. Let me go six minutes on Overness there. On Overness or Entertainment? Oh, shit. Maybe maybe Entertainment, actually, because I don't think Dusty's that over. Let's go with, uh, yeah. Uh, maybe go with uh, Dusty for promo skills and Roddy Piper for uh, better for Overness, maybe. Okay, his Entertainment is pretty good, too. He's Roddy Piper, but... I right, go both Entertainment. All right. I'd be entertained watching that. Uh, yeah, me too. Down he went. All right, you're next. Segment five, world title tournament round one, major bash with Paul Heyman versus Dusty Rhodes, I, hardcore is, match. Is this your main? No. Oh. I'm not putting these guys in the <laughs> your main. Opening, your, oh, your opening segment made it out to be your main. It was literally like, it's going to be the big match. I mean, this is this a mid match? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not using that as the main event. That's fair. That's fair. I, I mean, I this has top the, the first hour. This, this is top of the first this hour. This also has the potential to be very bad. <laughs> So. Precisely why it's not the main event. <laughs> Although, I was very surprised at Vader's ability last week. No, Vader was good. Vader did awesome. But this That's is a hardcore crazy. match with big oh. shit. I'm sorry, with, with Major Bash and Whoa. Dusty Rhodes. Oh, Dijak could sue you now. He didn't because it, we didn't do it publicly. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, anyway, 10 minutes, Major Bash over. Dusty managed to get <laughs> Major Bash down on his back, but even a barbed wire elbow drop isn't enough to keep the monster down. Damn. Post match, Dusty comes to. He realizes what has happened. He sheds a single tear. <laughs> he takes uh, off his boots uh, and Jim, leaves them in the ring. And those are some old fucking boots. We, we too. ECW we has just witnessed the final match of Dusty Rhodes. That's what you Jim think. Neidhart, Jim Neidhart says, I'd advise against putting Dusty Rhodes in a match of this length. He has nowhere near good enough stamina. No. It's 10 minutes. Leave it. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, no, nah, fuck Jim Nathart. What do you know? It's his last match. <laughs> his last match. Fuck. <laughs> Give him I ten. Mean, all right. <laughs> <laughs> if we and need then, to cut time, that's the match we're cutting time from. All right. And then Dusty leaves his boots in the ring. Yep. Okay. Dusty leaves boots in the ring. All right. Okay, six six. Backstage promo with Raven and the Murder. Typing newest member, the murder Baron. Baron wrestling tonight. Now Baron. wait a minute. You're stable, the murder, right? Yeah. Who is the who cope? The cope. Yeah. And Raven. And now the newest member is Varon. Varon. Oh okay. yeah. All right. Got and they're going to get her tuned up. That's the Victoria. Women's chat. Championship Fatal Four Way at the pay per view Guilty as Charged at the end of the month. So the murder, Raven cuts a promo, and is, is the Cope saying anything, or is he just there? The Cope is going to be scripted to say, like, one line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to explain. Raven can, can, can go ahead for this entire segment, right? And then the uh, Cope is going to we're, say, we're spare! Up, we're hyping up the, the women's fatal <laughs> four-way at the pay-per-view, the Cope, right? At the it's end of the promo, said, Raven finishes talking, and the Cope goes... Cope. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. That, that sounds perfect, actually. That sounds fucking brilliant. Okay. Um, but anyway, so we're, we're hyping up the field four-way, but Baron will be wrestling tonight in a bit of a showcase. Ooh, okay. But next week, the wait, Cope... Wait, hold on, hold on. Are you just making the Judgment Day? What? <laughs> Are you just making the Judgment Day with Raven and his, uh, his priest and Cope as Cope and Baron as Rhea? Sure. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds great I'm not at all ripping off any of Raven's previous iterations <laughs> there's no yes, woman here, I'm ripping off something I've never watched that sounds great yeah so, all right. uh, so also next week The Cope will destroy a Japanese wrestling legend wow, Cope, the Raven, okay. Cope, the Raven, 
Cope the Raven. Never mind. I said Cope the Raven. Cope the Raven. <laughs> Let's, that. Let's keep that. Cope the Raven. Never Cope more. The Raven. I love it. Also, I wrote this and I underlined this. Cope is scripted. <laughs> <laughs> The is scripted. Is scripted. Okay, so let's let's just make sure. Let's go for five minutes on that one backstage. Okay. <laughs> Tell me when. Yeah, you're next. It's like seven. Right into right off the back of that, it's Baron versus Mickey James. Okay. Baron over eight minutes. Oops, I did Vader versus Mickey James. <laughs> I do want to see that match. That'd be Would pretty be sweet. Based. Would be based. All right, and Veron is up. Okay. Seg eight. Randall Keith Orton with Mama Cougar Francine. Oh, oh hell boy. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. My favorite He's going to love this. He's going to love this one. Versus Mitsuhiro Misawa. <laughs> Dream match. <laughs> Uh, Dijak has fallen asleep, by the way. Oh, yeah, your card is... <laughs> <laughs> your, your card is smart, I, I think my, my sir might have killed him. Everybody uh, sees in the chat. So, <laughs> Randy's over, but the win is tainted. As Francine gets up in the apron, as Masao is loading up to Emerald Frosian, she flashes Masao, and he is utterly oh. distracted by the Westerner's incredibly large breasts. I knew you were going to say that, and I love you for Thus, it. Randy catches the RKO and gets the one, two, three. <laughs> Ten minutes. Perfect. Just saying, this is pissed. That it is, is pissed. No, it is. This, this next match is for Brennan. Oh. Tell me when. Okay. Seg nine. Neat Nora versus... This is naive idiot in a battle not to say the wrong N word. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of N's being thrown around in this match. So her new name is Naive. Naive Nidia. So Nora's up in a friendly match between the two young baby faces. Eight minutes. Cannot change name. All right. Battle of the Ends. <laughs> now, how long is this match? Uh, eight minutes, please. Okay. All right, what's next? How are we doing for time, Mansur? How much have we got to fill? Um, you can book 20, 10 to 20 more minutes. 10 will oh. get you to the minimum. Oh, okay. But, like, what's the maximum I've got left? Because I've got two matches to go. 20 minutes. Oh, shit. I'll figure this one out. Okay. Uh, seg 10, MCMG versus Team 3D. Wow. Hot shotting that, huh? God, they're they're not ready, so I'm amazed I didn't do this one on the pre-show to be honest. Brother Devon and Brother Ray. Okay. We'll go with Bubba over, obviously. Of course. Yeah. Uh, post match <laughs> Bubba gets request. on the mic. Post match Bubba gets on the mic and says that the Dudley Boys Team How 3D long? are the best, most decorated tag team in the world match, ever. Man? And it's time East W recognizes that. How long's the match? Uh, that depends on time. We'll go with six at the minute, and I'll just right. uh, the Dudleys will challenge all other teams. All other teams are guilty as charged for the tag team titles. They're all gonna wrestle. All the teams. Wow. I'll figure that out when I come to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good on you promoting your pay per view three weeks away. What are you insane? I literally did my best. I don't, I don't even know, know, what, I don't even know what my pay per view is. Yeah. I've even named it and everything. You guys have done fuck all. I don't even know the name of my pay-per-view. Cross the line, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so, are you just going to do cross the line one? Cross the line two? Yes, cross the line three? Slam anniversary. Cross Dude, the line Jack, four? Jack is doing WrestleMania every month. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Now your, your final Dijak. segment. Okay. Seg 11. The main event. Okay. Television title on the line. RVD with Bill Alfonso versus Eddie Guerrero. Oh, that's a fucking banger. Banger alert. Banger alert. How long? So the RVD over with manager distraction. Okay. Post-match, Mysterio runs RVD off. And we go out on Mysterio helping his friend Eddie to his feet. And they All both right, shake their fist <laughs> at RVD and his antics. What's the match length? How long have we got left? Um, you have to cut four minutes if you want it to be ten minutes. So you have uh, okay. six minutes. I could. I'll take two minutes off of uh, Major Bosch and Dusty. Okay. 
<laughs> Jim Neidhart says, I'd advise against putting Dusty Rhodes in a match of this length for an eight-minute match. Wow. <laughs> right, I'll, leave you on that. I'll take uh, two minutes off of uh, Rey Mysterio and Hoobatoo, please. Okay. In fact, I'll take... I'll take four minutes off of Rey Mysterio and Hoobatoo. All right, so that's an eight-minute match now. Yeah. All right, then... you can add two minutes to the main if you want. I'll take uh, two more minutes off of Veron and Mickey James. Okay. Because it wow. didn't need to be that long. Actually. It's always the cruiserweight. Wow, yeah, it's always the women in the... Yeah, what the fuck, Demo? Uh, can I also take two minutes off... Uh, uh, what did I leave MCMG versus Team 3D? Six minutes. Oh, no, never mind. So what have I got left for the main event? Uh, RVD and Eddie in 14. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's good. That's good. But that's you don't good. have any room for the angle after. <laughs> oh, well, take it down to, what, 12? And does that, that leave you room for the angle? Um, ideally, you want angles to be at least four minutes. Okay, so do 10-minute match, four-minute angle. Okay. It's a bit short, but it's okay. Let me just see if there's anything else I can cut. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's take let's take two minutes off of Kabashi and Tanaka, actually. Okay. It's the opener, for Christ's sake. Man, add those two minutes on. on the, add those two minutes on for the main event. Take two off of what? Uh, the opener and add it on to the main event. The opener? Oh, Kenta and Tanaka? Yeah. Alright. Hey, Dijak woke up. Hey, Dijak. Dijak, you're next. Yay. You're next. Alright, does this look good to you, Demo? I know you Did you get all the times? Yeah. Uh, Heyman, Heyman, Kenta, Fit, Mysterio. Yeah. All right, you ready? Let's hit it. All right, starting off with these dark matches. In a decent pre show match, Shelton defeated Brian. Uh, this got a 65. Sick. Uh, in a pre show bout that had good wrestling and a decent reaction from the crowd, Chavo defeated Paul London. That got 66. It says Chavo Guerrero and Paul London had pretty good chemistry. Wow. Nice. Looked at the match. Pretty sure, who cares? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, but you can book that. Up, the promo with Heyman uh, got a 62. I don't know why Heyman keeps having kind of... Why do I keep getting I don't Heyman... really know. I'm, I'm honestly confused why his segments get really low scores. His entertainment thing should... Uh, maybe I fucked up. Did you fuck up again? Paul Heyman. No, his entertainment skill is very high. Maybe, maybe he's just not happy backstage. It could just be a fluke. I don't know. Uh, oh, but this promo got a 76. Paul Heyman was superb working without a script and had the crowd in the palm of his hand the entire time. So that got a 76. Uh, Wait a minute, up, did you do two promos for, for Heyman? Yeah, I had to split them up, remember? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, in a decent match, Kenna Kobashi defeated Masato Tanaka in 10 minutes with a burning lariat. Nice. That got a 66. Uh, Fit Finley uh, tries to break Kabashi's hand. That got a 47. It's to be expected because they kind of have low overness. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. No more chops. People are just disappointed with no more chops. Oh, Rey Mysterio and about that a good wrestling and a decent reaction. Rey Mysterio defeated Guerrero, uh, Juventud Guerrero. That got a 74. Nice. Uh, the uh, Rey Mysterio talking to the camera got a 60. Uh, this freestyle, uh, this the segment with Dusty Rhodes and Roddy Piper got a 76. Wow. Nice. Very good, very good. Uh, Major Bash versus Dusty Rhodes got a 61. Honestly, not horrible. Hey, I'm fucking ecstatic about that, it, to be honest. And about that had great heat and decent wrestling. So What was the red bit? Good. What's the red bit? Dusty Rhodes was exhausted by that. <laughs> so, Jim Neidhart, to be fair, did warn you. He is retiring. Uh, next up, we got Dusty. <laughs> Jim Neidhart. I think Dusty Rhodes should be booked a little smarter. He needs shorter matches. He was totally exposed. Why does he hate Dusty Rhodes so much? <laughs> uh, Dusty leaving his boots in the ring got a 71. Oh, sick. Uh, the angle with... <laughs> uh, the angle with Raven and the Cope got a 63. And the red oh, the cope. says, Raven improvised well without a script, but the Cope struggled a bit because other people weren't following a script. <laughs> 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 this, is, this is very true to life. You need, I don't to, know you need to make him a mute. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, Cope said, fuck all. Uh, Veron versus Mickey James got a 55 in wow. a decent match. That's good for 2004. Uh, oh. And about that had good heat and decent wrestling. Randy Orton defeated Masawa, and that got a 64. 
Uh, Neat Nora versus Nidia in the Battle of the Ends got a 53. Girl. And let's see how this main event did. Oh, the tag team match. Uh, in a decent match, Team 3 defeated Motor City Machine Guns. That got a 67. For the lads. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, the promo with Brother Ray got a 60. And the main event, 76. In an exceptional yes. match, Rob Van Dam yes. defeated Eddie Guerrero with the Van Terminator. Van Terminator. And the angle afterwards got a 66. Don't say angle. Sorry, and the segment after got 66, which leaves your show at a 75. I'll take it. Not I'll bad. take it to the bank. Let's get some All ECWs right. in the chat, lads. Chat, what'd you think of that ECW show? And now we're finishing it off with Dijak WWE, <laughs> if he's woken up. Dijak made a totally. targeted campaign to make the ECW show look boring by sleeping live on camera. <laughs> <laughs> what a dirty trick. Uh, Dijak, where would you like to run the show? Boston. Uh, MSG. Boston, Massachusetts. All right, TD Garden? Dijak or... doesn't want to travel. Foxwoods. Only 5,300 people are expected for your show. Oh, it's over. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fill it up. Yeah. Would you like I, to do I that? refute that number and say uh, I have Goldberg and Triple H and uh, McMahon. So. It's a big walk-up town, Boston. is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll do the TD Garden. All the e-drones in the chat are going crazy. <laughs> All right, time to book your show. Uh, remind me what I did last week. I um, you had a uh, Hunter beat Goldberg for the belt. Mm -hmm. Um, you had Sting beat Shane McMahon for the IC title. Um. You had a shit ton of Vince angles where he just talked about <laughs> It was <laughs> all Vince. It was every segment was a McMahon segment. You had uh, Scott Steiner won a battle royal. Uh, you did, had Batista squash Shane and Roderick Strong. Did Stephanie win the women's title yet? Uh, you had a bikini contest for the women's belt, which was won by uh, Stacy Keebler. All right. Look, let, let, let's... Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm going to try to streamline this as much as I can. Um, opening segment is the the whole corporation comes out. <laughs> all the 30-minute promo. 30-minute. It's, yeah, it's, it's like 20, 20 minute segment uh, <laughs> celebrating Triple H's the world champion. In this business, uh, this is like the worst period of my childhood. Payoff is it gets crashed by Goldberg. He kills everyone. He beats everyone. He demands a rematch. That rematch is happening live tonight in the main event. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Corporations Corporate. celebrate. And they're all being rated on entertainment. I guess they're cutting a promo. Yeah, that's all. Uh, talking about Goldberg. <laughs> oh, we don't have any storylines. Uh, Goldberg versus Hunter. We're going to have Goldberg. Oops. You see. In this business. The thing is. You see, the fact of the matter is. The fact of the matter in is. Business. In this business. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and then Vince uh, comes in. And goes, Life sucks, and then you die. die. All right. They cut their 16-minute promo, and then Goldberg comes out and spears all of them, including <laughs> <Correct>. the women. <laughs> Correct. Okay. Steph, Shane, and Vince. And they all get speared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like they, they, I'm just imagining everybody feeding into these spears. <laughs> okay, Goldberg spears everyone. Let me make sure that Vince is in this segment. Yep, he is. Okay. <laughs> all right, what's next? That's 20 minutes of your showdown. Yep. <laughs> That's um, a good joke. Dijak's at a loss. He doesn't know. Uh, <laughs> it's like, but only twenty minutes done. Another Shit. ten minute, uh, ten minute uh, bikini segment. All the, all the, all the men, another <laughs> bikini battle royal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you okay? Sable. Yeah, that works. Bikini battle royal. <laughs> bikini, <laughs> battle. bikini battle royal for the title. Battle on the line. For the title. Maybe 15. The title? 15, yeah, title, yeah. <laughs> uh, do, uh, I guess we're going to add a new match. It's called the uh, 
Bikini Battle Royal. <laughs> no, it's the Bikini Royal Rumble. It's for the title. Dijak is winning the fans over in the chat, by the way. Unfucking believable. Uh, and it's a battle royal with fifteen people. I don't think you have fifteen. You don't have fifteen women. No, oh, just all the women. Okay, all the women. All uh, the like women. Four. I think it's like four of them. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's even ten to do a battle royal. <laughs> it's a four-person oh. battle royal. <laughs> Okay, we'll do. How about we'll do a five way, and uh, the rules. Yeah, that's you fine. can you can do elimination. That's fine. And uh, it's a let's see, a throw from the ring finish. That'll put yeah. some butts in seats. That'll put the butts in the seats, and the content risk is average because they're in bikinis. Mm-hmm. Wow. And. Um, there should be a way to rate this match on sex appeal, but don't really know how to do that. So if anyone in the chat knows how to create a match that is rated on sex appeal, please let me know. I think that's a different game. <laughs> um, default? No. Basic match? No. Yeah, maybe I can't do that. I don't know. I know in previous games you used to be able to do that. But, uh, yeah, maybe I, oh, here we go. Eye candy. This specifies the aim of the match is simply to give the fans some good looking women to watch. Wow. All right. Who's the winner of your, let me, let me, let me put it in. Okay. So it's going to be be Tori Wilson, uh, Stacy Keebler, uh, Rena Marrow. What the fuck is her name? Is Sable here? Where's Sable? Oh, you don't have her as, as a wrestler. Hold on, let me change that. Um, talk to worker. I'd like you to consider yourself... Act- oh, shit. Is she retired? I can ask her to unretire. Please. <laughs> Sable was retired? Where, how do I make her a wrestler? Listen, Sable, I need you to come out of retirement. <laughs> we have uh, this match for you. We need you to be the fifth royal. woman in this bikini battle royal. You're out. <laughs> you're out first. It's not giving me the option, so she can't be in the match. But I'll, I'll, I'll just fix put her, her at ringside. Okay. I don't think we have enough women for the. Let me see. Tori Wilson, Stacy Keebler. Uh, do you want Steph in this? Sure. Yeah. Yes, he does. Um, Interesting. Ivory. <laughs> and Jacqueline. Okay. Jacqueline? Yeah, this Jackie's in it. And this is for the women's championship. And Sable is ringside. And uh, who wins that, Jack? Who's my champion? Who's that? Stacy. You know what? I'm Stephanie asking wins. Dijak. Stephanie wins. All right, Stephanie, Stephanie wins. wins. The corporation is dripping in gold. Okay, Stephanie wins the belt. All right, what's next? Um, you who's my ice- champion last week? <laughs> Your icy uh, champ is Sting. Oh, yeah, that was... Shane Mc... <laughs> What'd you say? He beat Shane McMahon, right? Yeah. Yeah, he beat Shane McMahon. Rematch. All right, we need we need Sting rematch against Shane McMahon in a casket <laughs> match. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Shane and Sting in a casket. Twenty-two minutes. Shane over. Twenty-two. Were you insane? All right, whatever. Uh, Sting wrestles Shane. Sting. <laughs> Why is it a casket, man? Because Sting 20, is his undertaker. 22 fucking minutes. Is it for the title? Of course. <laughs> Who's up? Sting. <laughs> so, so the much corporation for tries to interfere again. Okay. It was thwarted by the baseball bat. Okay. What, he just beats them uh, all off? <laughs> Something like that. All right, there's that. 
<laughs> Guys, stop uh, cheering for him. He doesn't want your cheers. What else? What else did I have last week? Batista or something? Batista squashed uh, Shane Haste and Roderick Strong. <laughs> uh, Scott Steiner won a battle royal. Do it again. Run, run that Batista squash back. <laughs> We need that again. We need to make sure that we... <laughs> Studio Ghibli's own Batista. Do you want it to be um uh uh you wanna be a gimmick match? What's a gimmick it's a handicap match, right? Alright. I mean it can be anything you want. You can add what you can do an uh one versus two inferno. Handicap match thirty seconds long. <laughs> Okay, Dave Batista <laughs> defeats Shane Hayes and Roderick Strong in a 30 second handicap match. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's a domination. Yep. All right. All right, what's, what's next? Uh, did I have a tag title match last week? Um, no, I don't think so. Yes, the winners are the outsiders Kevin oh. Nash and Scott Hall. Oh, the click is the champions. That's right. Uh, give them new, new opponents. Okay. Who do I have for a tag team? The Basham the Bash Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> the Legion of Doom and Rank. The Nasty Boys, Rikishi and Scotty Tuhati, and the Hardy Boys. Rikishi and Scotty Tuhati. Uh, eight minutes non-title. Outsiders over. Your first non-pay-per-view level match. Yeah, it's just filler. I forget the I forget Dijak shows are just the baby faces getting beaten over and over again, <laughs> except for Sting. <laughs> just like real life. He's really all looking right. for his boss. In the chase, it's all in the chase. <laughs> there's, there's that match. All right, how much time do I have left? Forty-four. You're forgetting all the McMahon backstage segments. Yeah, you used to have a McMahon backstage segment in between every segment. You changed. Oh, yeah. Put two or three. Populate two or three of those in there. Okay. What are they? Just smick, throw in a hat. <laughs> yeah. At least it's, come up uh, with it's, 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 it's various scenarios of them celebrating Triple H's win. Like, they're eating, like, uh, like chicken legs in one. That, there's another where they're like fanning him in a throne, and he's eating, he's being fed grapes. There's another one the where participants of the Demons like, Battle Royale, a with like, a, like a plaque, like a, they're shining his plaque. Okay, uh, those are the three segments. All right, McMads eat chicken legs. Uh, okay, the McMads eat chicken legs. Should Shane be in it? He just got put in a casket. Who cares? All right, there. Uh, they're doing that. <laughs> McMads eat chicken legs, and then here's Triple H eats grapes, <laughs> and that's four minutes. Uh, okay. <laughs> all right i'm gonna populate that throughout the show <laughs> all right what's next what's your next actual segment? Uh, one more one more promo segment backstage with the mcmahon's where they're paying off the referee of the main event <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. mcmahon's pay <laughs> off it. ref Loving it. all right vince is paying off i can't believe it was uh, actually like this at one point <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. All right. How much time we have left? Thirty-two. Thirty-two is the entire main event. <laughs> You're putting a Goldberg match as the as the thirty-two minute match. Thirty-two minute world title match. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Finishes the paid off referee accidentally gets speared. Okay. So he goes down. A new clean referee. Oh, the whole match, the whole match, the paid off referee is trying to screw Goldberg, but he's so 
powerful that he barely ever gets pinned ever. So he's just beating the dog shit. He's beating the dog shit out of Triple H. And slow counts, everything. It's just every horrible referee tax in the book. Yep, for 30 minutes. Okay. My favorite show. Clean referee comes out. Uh, belt shot from Triple H. Goldberg kicks out. The whole corporation runs down. <laughs> Shane, he's still in the casket. <laughs> Inadvertent belt shot to the new referee. In a, Boom. Inadvertent casket shot. <laughs> old, old referee, paid off referee wakes up. The corporation gets in the ring. They're all fucking river dancing on Goldberg. They're beating the dog shit out of him. Yeah, he gets <laughs> in front of Damo. He overpowers. Hey. Big show Royal Rumble spot. They all go flying. Spear, 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 jackhammer, 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 jackhammer. Boom, belt shot from Triple H out of nowhere. Fast count, one, two, three, kicks out at 3.1. <laughs> Triple H retains, everybody powders. Uh, no, uh, Goldberg picks him up, jackhammers uh, Triple H uh, to send the crowd home somewhat happy. But they're, okay. they're all What's the dark man? The dark man. Dark man is the, the fucking lights go on and you all go home. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, uh, Dijak, Triple H is a bit unhappy at the booking of this match and requests that you consider... Also He's unhappy with winning the title in a 30-minute match? I'm the fuck off. He's the fucking world champion. <laughs> world. He's unhappy. He wants to win clean. No. <laughs> He's trying to politic. <laughs> Okay. Tell him to go get a massage and a chiropractor adjustment. <laughs> the dirty doc. Take a lot of drugs. <laughs> Take a couple of bears. I'm going to add one more. Triple H McMahon segment. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Um. Okay. McMahon's eat chicken legs. <laughs> The, the chat is saying that you put Goldberg over. I did? Wow. Oh, that's why Hunter was pissed. Sorry. Why are you pissing off my talent? I'm sorry. I, I don't know. I apologize. <laughs> I forget immediately Hunter comes up to you. That's not going to work for me, big man. <laughs> uh, uh, Goldberg is a bit unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Wait, what happened? Money, money has accidentally created major strife in your it locker says, room. Goldberg is a bit unhappy at the booking of this match. I request that you consider altering it. No, he's protected. I'm fine. <laughs> he right, up the uh, entire company and got cheated <laughs> badly to fucking win. Like, right, be I'll, fine. I'll add a road agent that says protect Goldberg. Or keep strong. How about keep strong? Yeah, yeah I think he's strong. kept strong. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, he's got, he kills the whole company and all the top heels. All right, we got Corporation Celebrate, Goldberg Spears. Oh, you want him to jackhammer after. Right, 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 okay. Yeah, Goldberg, Jack, Hammers, Hunter. How come Sting's not helping him out? He's a loner. The baby he's faces are all dickheads and <laughs> die jacks WWE. <laughs> All right, Corporation Celebrate, Goldberg Spears, everyone, Tori Wilson, Stacey Keebler, and the Bikini Battle Royal, Shane McMahon versus Sting, Triple H eats grapes, Dave Batista versus Shane Haste and Roger Strong, McMahon's eat chicken legs, uh, <laughs> McMahon Helmsley, Click Regime, Kevin Ash and Scott Hall versus Rikishi and Sky Duani, McMahon's make a plaque for Hunter, McMahon's payoff ref, Goldberg versus Triple H, Goldberg, Jack Hammer. That's your whole show? It's all about the money. It's all about the money. <laughs> You have a lot of people on your roster not working. Do you want to do a dark match before the show? Or... Fuck them. Fuck okay. them. <laughs> We're getting paid. This kid right. ain't good. Right, <laughs> Go get a massage and a chiropractor adjustment. All right, here comes the, the show. You ready? I'm ready. Right. Oh, uh, I'm corporation it's Celebrate got a 75. Of course it did. <laughs> of course it did. 20 minutes. Better than everything on my show. Uh, Goldberg <laughs> hearing the entire corporation got a 73. Why not? Great, of course. Oh, sorry. Are there any other storylines you want to have? Like Shane and Sting? No. Or... There is only <laughs> one storyline. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Just Goldberg and Hunter. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Correct. All right. All this right, is amazing. Me... 
Let me, <laughs> let me add stuff. <laughs> Slapjack. Uh, okay, next up we got the Bikini Battle Royal. I got a 75. Oh, the fuck, Bikini fuck. Battle <laughs> dog. is a better match than RVD versus Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> it says, in terms of in ring what they Eddie, want, boys. <laughs> Uh, Shane McMahon versus Sting got a 72. It wasn't as good as the Bikini Battle Royale. Oh. <laughs> oh. How does that match get a 72? Uh, next up, Triple H eating grapes got a 76. Oh, my oh, God. Uh, Batista squashing uh, the boys got a 54. Um, McMahon's eating chicken legs got an 83. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the Outsiders wow. versus Rikishi and Scotty got a 67. Fucking hell. Uh, McMahon's make a plaque for Hunter got an 83. <laughs> uh, Vince McMahon Why off book the ref anything got an else? <laughs> Vince McMahon paying off the ref got an 86. <laughs> the highest rated segment so far in all of our shows. <laughs> and he's been on the show eight times already. Oh, for fuck's sake. And the final match. Goldberg oh, versus Hunter got a 70 uh, because it was 30 minutes of fucking Goldberg versus Hunter. <laughs> uh, Triple H and Stim McMahon have absolutely zero chemistry together. <laughs> <laughs> and then the final segment with Goldberg jackhammering Hummer got a 66. Hummer. Triple H and Stim McMahon. Maybe Steph shouldn't manage Hunter because they have zero chemistry. So keep that in mind. Why? What do you mean? I don't know. That's just the game. It's all about the game. Oh, so actually, the the main event kind of tanking kind of hurt your show. You got a 75. Holy fuck. You got the same as me, even though like you like a laughably better received show. Well, Damo, you booked a more consistent show. So congrats. I'll take it. He got the 86. Uh, he, got he, the 86. Book, he booked a 30 minute Goldberg match. What the fuck did he expect? <laughs> it's been a fucking five minutes back. It's a world championship match. What are you yeah, watching? Goldberg has never had a 30 minute match, dickhead. All right, Whatever. time to see the ratings. Here we go. No we'll Millie? Start with, we'll start with Brennan. No Millie? <laughs> Brennan, your viewership was 589,000. Let's no go. Millie. Uh, John Cena opinion, Ram K. Chow isn't tough enough for the business. You should release the kid and find a real worker. Listen, Cena, you're like the same age. <laughs> Antonio Inoki sent you an email. Ram K. Chow isn't tough enough to make it in this business. <laughs> 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 what do you mean she's taking worse bumps than everybody else? <laughs> she got <laughs> murdered. <laughs> All right, next up, we got um, me. Uh, I got a, oh, I got a Billy. What? I got 1,664,000. Let's fucking go. I don't right. know. I don't know how you got a milli. I got a milli. I got a milli. How do you manage to do this every time? It's because I got a... Um, Double your ratings. I got an 80 for the show rating. I got the highest oh, okay. rating. Oh, okay. Okay. What uh, does that matter? It's, it's, because... it's the star power. <laughs> All right, uh, Demo. People, people didn't just your your audience didn't double because your matches were. Oh shit! Well. Demo beat me. What the fuck? Demo got a two point one nine one million what? forty eight thousand. Holy shit! People dig my my backstage you know legend worse, mentality here. Fuck! You got a worse rating than me. How did that happen? It was on UPN, and then finally Dijak. Two uh, million. Rating, oh, he got the highest one million six hundred and twenty thousand. Yeah. Or was that well, how, did I get a, how did I get a 2.1? What? Oh no, Demo won. Demo won the demos? Demo won the fucking Demo won the demo graphics. by a smidge. Wow. Take it, guys. Wow. Let's get some EC dub in the chat, please. To Brandon is such a fucking second rate promotion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but everybody's happy. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> did, did being broadcast from Japan hurt the show? No, it didn't. Obviously, it didn't. You well, I'm gonna I mean, stay there. Demo God. Well, honestly, if if Dijak's main didn't do a crap number, he probably would have won easy. But yeah, he would have thumped us into oblivion. Yeah. Next time, he's just gonna put the McMahon's on last. Um. All right. Well, that's the fucking stream. Stop the that steal. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop the count. Don't worry, Dijak will have Trump on soon. <laughs> that is his next. That is genuinely his next thing, isn't it? 
Uncharted. Although, I'm not sure I wanted them today. <laughs> well, if I was gonna it's gonna do be this the thing. greatest show of all time. I'm, like, I'm literally trying to book the best show I could possibly think of, right? And Dijak's like, go oh, McMahon's, please. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed another fantastic episode of TEW. We're going to raid New Legacy. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Thanks, everybody. See y'all soon. Bye-bye. You guys can go to bed. Bye-bye. You can go to bed. Good night. Good night. Yeah. <laughs>